Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Forty million naira. Take your damn check. With due respect, my prince, take your money to hell and burn. Why are you being so stubborn, insensitive, adamant, even outrightly selfish? You are nothing but a mere female species. You don't have right to do what you are doing. Ichie, you do not have any right whatsoever to insult me in my house. I might be a female, but I have my rights. And I know those rights. <laughs> More money. Right. million naira. Like I said, my prince. Go to hell with your check. I don't need it. Put it there as an open chair. Leave that cover with stupidity. Your parents are dead. You are only a female child. You have nothing. Absolutely nothing in this place that is in your name. We only allow you to live here out of pity because you are their only child. You live here until you get married. And after that, it's over. Everything your parents own belongs to the community. So, why don't you just accept what we offer you and move on? Give us the papers. Now, let me say it in a way that she will understand. I will never release those papers to any of you. I would rather hold on to them until the day I die.
Ijema. Let me tell you something, Tony. The reason why any man needs a female child is to have someone else in the house to help his wife in cooking, washing, and to help the wife in general household chores. That's all. Yes. And when she is of age, the female child is only used to the family, is the bride price to be paid by the man who will eventually become her husband. That's all. That is all you are. And that is all you will ever be. Well noted, Ichie. Thank you very much. The only way you can thank me is to give us what we want. Give us the papers. And I said I won't. I would do no such thing. Even for a billion naira, I would never release that land. Never will I. I think it's high time you left. Now leave my house. only a stupid man that sees a blind person and thinks that he or she is stupid. We may be blind, but we are one of the few people in the world who are very sensitive to our surroundings. We may not be able to see you, but we hear your footsteps even before you take them. We feel your intentions even before you voice them out. We are and will always remain one step ahead of you. I need you to understand that. Just for you to know, I need to take a nap. Take your miserable self out of my abode. And when you leave, do not forget to shut my door. to believe that a blind girl poured water all over you and broke your waist. You are very stupid man. Very, very stupid. Do I look to you like a liar? You may call me names, but your explanation as to what happened does not make any sense at all. You are simply jealous. You. You are simply jealous of the fact that the king made me on the instead of you. That is why you feel you can insult me anyhow you like. Look at you. Anyway, let me tell you something. I am the owner who of whom me the kingdom. And I will remain owner who until I die. Your Majesty. This man is undermining my authority in this palace. And I want you to ask him to leave immediately. Yes. Let him leave. Your Majesty, you are not saying anything. He is not saying anything because you may be the owner of Umuite. But I still remain one of the most powerful men in Umuite. So shut up. Shut your mouth. You are a fool. You are a stupid fool. It's you, Zelu. Your Majesty. That is did enough. you hear? Did you hear what I said? That is enough. Sit down. Change <laughs> <laughs> 
I want you to listen to me. I am not trying to disrespect you. I'm only asking you to sit down because we have more pressing issues at hand to discuss. But if you want to continue standing and bickering, then sit yourself. He had no right at all. Absolutely no right to come in here and intimidate you. Massey, why talk like you don't know the reason why all these things are happening? I keep saying it, and I will say it again and again. EJ, my dear, should let go of that land. Excuse me? Yes, you heard me. She should let the land go since his bravery has so much problem. Moreover, women don't inherit the land. Here in Umite. And kingdoms around here. I'm ashamed of you for a woman born and bred in the 21st century. Hey, gracious for God's sake. How then do you have this kind of mentality? What hope do you give our young ones out there? What kind of mentality is this for God's sake? Master, stop dreaming and get your head out of your ass. Since the days of our forefathers. Things has been exactly like this. So no matter what you do or not do, it can never be changed. Women can never share the same rights as men. Yes, Ijema, you are a woman. And the only place you have a right to own anything is at your husband's house. Not here in your father's house. Fine. You may be the only surviving child of your late parents, but that doesn't mean that that land belongs to you. Let the king have it. And if the king doesn't have the land, what will he do? I will make our life miserable. I will apply every single kind of forceful method and valuable on her. I will make extensive use of my staff of authority. And by the time I am done with her, she will sign over those documents to me without even knowing that she has done it. To think that a king will make a caricature of himself is a huge joke of the year. And what do you mean? That king is not just any king. We are talking about a king who sits on a mountain of money. So because he sits on a mountain of money, you believe that Ijema should accept his money? Well, if you're that cheap and classless, then stick it to yourself, please. Ijema, did you hear her? Why is she insulting me now? What's been of that? Well, I see no insult in what she had just said. You are the one who has been making <clears throat> wild utterances, and I feel you should talk less. Listen, Amaka. If the king thinks he can use force to take Ijema's ancestral land from her, then he's a huge joker. Then he will come face to face with something mightier than the injustice of men. Oh, you shut up! A man is ready to pay 50 million naira just for a parcel of land. And here you are, still calling it injustice. Ijema is our friend. Tell her the truth. I feel you are the one who should shut up. My king, remember that the fight for this land did not start today. You have done everything, including using your authority as king to try and coerce the girl into giving you that land, but she refused. You then planned to use the government to take the land away from her, but you were stopped. Do you recall what happened? Ogwefi. Ogwefi. I need to understand where you are coming from. Are you in any way trying to tell me that I should no longer use my powers as the king? I'm not exactly what I'm saying. But I know that you have tried to use the same thing in the past. Do you recall what happened? I 
I humble myself before the Ani of Umite, the central deity of Umite people. I already placed a cow in the compound of the chief priest of Umite. That cow is a gift from me to you. I give you that cow for I am troubled. Before my father died, he handed the land over to me. A land which he said is connected to my destiny. Now, that land has attracted the eyes of the men mightier than I am. They want to take the land from me. But I do not want to sell the land. I am willing to wait to see that destiny that my father spoke about. Please, arise in your honor and save me. Save me and protect me. I do not want to sell that land. Gods of my forefathers, arise and protect my ancestral land. Do this for me and I shall present you another cow. Now, how a blind girl was able to make her way into a new mighty, to speak to the central deity is what I haven't been able to understand. Which I need to remind you that no one can use force to collect an ancestral land from anyone. Ijemma, as a woman, is not entitled to lands. And as the only surviving member of the OBSA family, she should get married so that the ownership of that land will be transferred to me, the king of Umwite kingdom. Do you understand? Your Majesty, you seem to forget that even in the days of our ancestors, women had certain rights. They were simply ignorant of it because the men decided to sit on that knowledge and conceal it. Just get real and stop all this nonsense talk of yours. It may be nonsense talk to the men who have allowed their conscience to be seared with hot iron. A woman is the mother of a man. And only foolish men undermine their mothers. Look at you. Who is talking about mothers here? We are not talking about an overambitious blind girl who is standing in the way of the king. Point of correction. She is not standing in anyone's way. Rather, she is fighting for her inheritance. My king. I'm pleading with you to use your persuasion to make her change her mind. Please, any form of force, I am out of it. Well, you have made your point. And I want to be left alone now. Is that what you think? That is not true. Yes, of course. We are blushing. So then, you don't know the story of Adeni. And who is Adeni? Before you conclude that a woman has no inheritance with her fathers, I must tell you the story of Adain. And who is Adain? A woman of Umite. She was the only child of a powerful Divya. Adain's father tried everything possible to have more children, including what? Taking three more wives. None of them could conceive. Adeyi finally conceived and bore a son. A son the Dibia presented to the Okuku of his Omona as his son. And the Okuku accepted that son. That son later grew up to become the Isi Izenozo of Omuite. Adeyi never got married. In fact, after her father's death, she remained in her father's house with her son. And the people of Umite, including her father's wives, respected her as the new head of the family. She died at a ripe old age. 
after meeting her great grandchildren and stuff. You know, after all those years, not once did anyone intimidate her. <laughs> well done, a good feel, Susie. That was a great story. <laughs> Thank you for the entertainment. The story is not entertainment. Adeyi is a glorious topic in the history of Umrite. That's a lie. It is not a lie. I am aware of the story. In fact, I know of that son who later became the Isi in Zenazo of Umuite Kingdom. But that does not change the fact that I'm in desperate need of that land. Because that is the only available uncultivated virgin land in the whole of Umuite Kingdom. Yes. And I want to use it for the cultivation of my royal marble company. That is the point. Forgive me, Your Majesty, when I say this. The land may be what you want, but it's not appealing. It belongs to someone. And if the owner doesn't want to give it out to anyone, nothing you or anyone can do about it. Ogwefi, why is it that you always find a way to contradict me? Why? You see, Onyeze is beginning to understand your games. You're always contradicting him. You contradict him every time. And if you ask me, it's unfair. It's not fair. Why are you here as a friend to the king and still? You continue to mislead the king. Nobody is misleading me. Oh. Of course, you know that I'm not that kind of king that anyone will mislead. <laughs> Why is it that you always find it difficult to agree with me on anything? Why? My, uh, my king. Oh, don't you dare call me that. Why is it that any time I have a problem, you always go against me? Why is it that every single time I am looking for something, you will use everything within your powers to see that I don't get it? Why is it so? But, Your Majesty, you are surely bringing wild interpretations into this. Huh? I invited you as a friend and a confidant because I want a quick solution to my problems. And all you've done is to play advocate for my enemy. Oh, just like the proverbial hypocrite. Oh, yeah, well, that's what you are. That poor girl is not your enemy. I'm only telling you the truth. For once, I thought we would have a common ground. Now get out of my palace. What? I said stand up and get the hell out of my palace. You heard me the first time. Please, your majesty. Is it that you did not understand what he said? Or you did not hear him properly? Listen, get out get of my palace this minute before I force you out, I throw you out. Get out means get out. So get out. Huh? That's what it means. Simple. Get out. Oh, you are contradicting the king. The king will say the same. I tell you. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. What is it about this so-called piece of land that is about to give my man heart attack at this age? Is it because the piece of land is a virgin land? Are there no other virgin lands in other communities? 
I don't get this. Hello, DB. Even if you won't talk to me, at least try and eat something. Hello, DB. Hello, DB. Elodie, don't. Elodie, don't you dare walk out on me. Elodie, be. I don't get it. Why is my man so obsessed about this piece of land? Am I about to lose my man over a piece of land? Ilodibe. Mr. James. Uh, money. All I can tell you is that that woman is a good businesswoman. In fact, the best businesswoman I've come in contact with so far. Do you know her father has several lorries registered under this campaign? And every month we pay her. Do you know what she does with the money? No. Utmost maintenance of her lorries. If anyone breaks down, she gets it fixed immediately. Unlike other lorry owners. According to her, she doesn't need much for daily upkeep. So most of the money in her account is channeled towards the maintenance of her lorries. Mr. James, that woman is one in a million. In fact, if I had met her before my wife, and if she wasn't blind, I would have married her. I'm sorry, manager. I think I have missed something here. Are you saying that she's not an employee under this company, but a business partner? Ijema <laughs> Obiese is not just a partner here. She's one of our major shareholders. <laughs> Manager, uh, when I walk into this office, I never expected that our conversation would lead towards this direction. Uh, actually, I have something in mind. You like her, <laughs> right? Uh, Manager, forget the fact that she's blind. <laughs> she is very, very beautiful. Mm. And uh, I wanted to ask if you think she would accept to go out with me. You are officially the third person who has walked in here with that same question. Uh, manager, I overheard you say she's like a sister to you. So I figured you know better. Considering the fact that she has this uh, reputation of being so hard to get. Yes, you are right. She's like a sister to me. Uh, so what do you think of me going out with her? You know, I don't engage her in such discussion. Manager, in a call one in my young mother, won't you assist me? I don't know why you will approach me with this. Manager, won't you help me out? I don't know. <laughs> Your Majesty, I am dazed and flabbergasted, cum elevated by this honorable and royalty elevated this is sir your highness mm -hmm. point of correction you stuck in the your majesty not your highness he's a king not a prince he are, are you stupid who are and who are you who are you urging to elevate yourself into the realm of creating my tenses my my my, my vocabulary or son are you stupid do you know how intelligent i am do you know how educated Information and updated I am. If you want to talk that rubbish, just shit. You know you have a seed in your mouth. I know exactly who you are. I know how learned you are. Which is why I know that something, nothing good will ever come out from your mouth. You need to eat. I will take it from you. Ah, you know but you The only graduate of the great and even the greatest university of home is the Polytechnic. Don't make me look down on my elevated self. Let me tell you something. You know, sometimes you mix TV language and the job, it will sound like a, like a grammar. 
I barista, Okunu Kabondo, the only headmaster of the University of Cambridge. We say it again, I will say it again, make we again. You are nothing but than illiterate. Stop making noise, you moron. You know how informed, updated, and valid that I am. Don't boo. I will, I will lift you off your feet. You are nothing but a nonsense and ingredients. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. What is happening? Um, all is well, Your Highness. All is well. Otherwise, I will personally see to it that someone will go to jail. And I will personally view it from my own chamber of understanding that a virgin heart of a maiden has been broken. You're just talking nonsense. Your Majesty. You are living threat! Oh, Don't no. provoke me. Moron. Are you sure we're safe? Uh, your Majesty, may I introduce barristers? Uh, 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 and I, Barrister Onobaje Girls, one, the six years. Your Majesty, illiterate. Are you sure we're safe? You're going out. Yes, I am. Okay. If you will not tell me where you're off to, at least tell me when you're coming back. Should I make lunch? <clears throat> that will not be necessary. But... There is no but. I'll see you when I come back. No, David. I'm talking to you. What is it that you want? Huh? Why are you actually not brave over that land? What do you want? What connects you to that land? My family has offered you 50 million naira and you refused. What do you want? Name the price, everyone has got price. What is it that you want from the royal family in exchange for that land? You really want to know? Yes, I want to know. I want the king, his son, and he changed Zelo to leave me alone. That is exactly what I want. Leave you alone. How is that possible? How is it possible for us to leave you alone? Maybe there will finally come a time when the gods of my ancestors will make it so that I do not have a choice than to release the land to the royal family without thinking twice. I will gladly do that. But until then, what I want most is that you should leave my house and never return again. Yes, Your Highness. Your Majesty, you. Um, like I was saying, Your Highness Majestic. Before I was rudely interrupted by this low life, a scalawat, a hopeless living. Your Majesty, if you permit me to continue, I will tell you that if you continue using the best version of your time to question our authenticity, 
and audacity as barristers, legal practitioners. I will tell you, Your Majesty, that you don't know the accumulation, the volume of your problems. Um, yes, Your Majesty. I will humbly say that um, this is the first time he's being reasonable since I know him. He's right. Yes. Your Majesty, take the best part of the scenario of your cases. You have succeeded in using your connection, affluence, authority, and dominion to suppress an innocent, beautiful, but blind maiden of whom the kingdom. But I'm here to pass a judgment from the Supreme Court of Rule that the central deity of Umite will majestically catapult into you before you succeed with his swollen, elevated stomach. Um, Your Majesty, for the worst case scenario, if you finally find a way of killing the girl and collect everything, including the land, the people of Umite we start pointing finger at you. But before the police will come after you, the gods of our ancestors will strike you with madness. Is it by law, people? Or either way, first or second scenario, you will die of, of a swollen stomach. stomach. Enough, enough. Now, 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 enough of this uh, dying of a swollen stomach. And all that. Wait, does it mean you? Do not have any solution to the king's problem? Suggestion of Aru, rather. I will tell you that we embody the solution to the king's problem. But that will be if the king will accept to play along, cum collaborate, versus accepting our terms and conditions. Uh, and what could that possibly be? From the autonomy of the uh, case. Uh, 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 uh. Your Majesty, I can't believe that we have been in the King's Palace for over an hour or more, and we have not been offered anything within the category or species of cola. You know, home we've all And I have descended very low to the level of asking for an earth produce ordinary water. Has never been presented or come presented before this legal luminaries, enlightened bodies, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, a man of my caliber, <laughs> a legal practitioner <laughs> by profession, a headmaster from University of Cambridge, Your Majesty, this is an insult, assault, a subordination, misconduct to me. Oh my God. Your Majesty, I will take it as an arbitration. Standing before a go between, a body that is here to solve your problem. Is it that there are no menace in this elevated and high class palace? I have been to the Queen England or whatever. <laughs> when you get there, you see a lot of pinos. Pinoses. Pinos, guards, maids. I have not seen anyone. Your Majesty, I'm, 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 I'm a kind of bamboozled. Ah. No, 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 I cannot take it. Your Majesty. I have been elevated. Come crippled. Are they blind? You see, Your Majesty, uh, do not be worried about those, those men. They may look rough. But they're very good lawyers, very sound. Good I assure you. Headmaster of Cambridge. Hi, Your Majesty. Do not be bothered about what comes out from their mouth. Not everything they speak that you think about. But Don't there bother. is no way any sane man will not be bothered by the trash they spew. Well, take a look at them. My king, always remember that looks can be deceptive. You don't judge a book by its cover. But by its contents, what it contents, does it? I, I, I just hope you're right. 
Chi, I'm choosing to believe you because uh, unlike Ogwefi and the other elders in council, you are one man that has always been there for me through thick and thin. And I will always be there for you, my king. You I should. We'll get there. You see this battle? We'll win this battle. We'll get there. I just hope so. Uh, uh, but Your Majesty, let's not forget their balance. I am surprised they let me in. I ordered them to. Thanks for coming. Hello, the bear. You are just different from your father. Obu, if you understand that my father has problem with you. But I needed someone I could talk to. Someone I can confide in. And I have searched thoroughly. And there cannot be a better choice than you. I appreciate. But I must tell you the truth. What is it about that girl? What's her story? Why is it difficult for her to give out that land? And why is there no other person to authorize us to have it? To the best of my knowledge, she's alone in her family. So now that she has refused to bend, what are we going to do? Hmm. I will tell you something, but I doubt if you will like it. Take a good look at me, Obuifi. Does it look like I am joking? You don't seem to understand how desperate I am, do you? Ilodibe, you and your father should forget about that land. I beg your pardon. You had me right. That blind girl is simply an orphan who is struggling to do all she can to maintain a late parent's legacy. Despite the fact that she is blind, she has made it clear severally that she doesn't want to sell the land. Why can't you and your father leave her alone? With you see, that is the major problem. We want that land. How are we supposed to leave her alone? We must never forget that there is no problem with that solution. Since your mission to acquire that particular land has failed, isn't time for you to set eyes on another? I mean, that is not the only virgin land in the world. Elodibe. You and your father should leave I alone. Hello, my jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> the epitome of beauty, the achalon of excellence. Who are you, please? I am someone who is about to become very special to you. An arbiter, a go-between, a mediator, a negotiator, and upper chamber. <laughs> that still hasn't answered my question. I asked, who are you? Where are you from? And why are you here? Um, and what exactly do you mean you're backing out of this whole thing? Exactly what it means. Yes, I'm backing out. We both know that there is nothing we will do to make that girl give up that land. So what are we going to do? Kill her? No. Nobody's killing her. Now listen to me, son. I had some visitors today. And we already came up with a better plan. Yes, even as we talk, 
they are doing something about it already. Barista Onubaje Girls, a mediator, the upper chamber, a magistrate in thy client. I am at your service, my queen. No, you are certainly at the wrong place. I never solicited for the services of a lawyer. So I do not know what you're talking about. My queen, I do not blame you because you, you, you are you are depraved. You, 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 you are you are shattered. If only you can see how sexy and classic and beautiful I am as a man standing before you, you will adjourn the donation and solicit for more things. So, Father, when you say you have a plan, what exactly do you mean? I have hired the services of a lawyer. And he suggested that we let him go over to the poor blind girl and negotiate with her. <laughs> What's funny? Honestly, Father, you... You amuse me. We've applied a force on this girl just to release that land. It was aborted. And secondly, threats of life. That also failed. And then we indulge or employ the help of lawmakers, federal government, authorities. And then she took the case from you into the hands of Annie, the central deity of whom we did. As if that was not enough. And finally, I decided to go over to her place to offer her money. And I made a very big fool of myself. And so you think a man negotiation will make this girl change her mind? Oh, Father, you really, really amuse me. Son, you don't have to worry yourself. I know what I am doing. I strongly believe that this is going to work because this negotiation is being handled by a special kind of lawyers, professionals to the core. I know they are going to have a good talk with her. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So what if this plan of yours fails as usual? That is not going to happen. In fact, I strongly believe that very soon that poor blind girl will have no choice than to relinquish that land to us. That is what is going to happen very soon. Trust me. Don't you dare come any closer. Um, 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 relax, my princess. Relax. I am not here to take what we call shortcut. Hmm? I am here to follow the due process of requesting something from a beautiful queen. I need a favor from you. But before the request, I would like to take you to card nine. We will spring court rules. <laughs> yeah. hey. How dare you? Don't come close to me. This is what we call arbitration in judgment. <laughs> my, pre uh, my princess, see, I won't be harsh. Just relax. <laughs> Don't come close to me, I said. Don't you there. Listen. Listen, I believe that something is trying to stop you from getting a high level from a high intelligent body that will move it. Hey! Don't be saying that you are blind. Wait, do you should say blind. Hey!
check. Can you get hot water? I need to be massaged. Look at this idiot. Huh? Wait. You are telling me that a helpless blind girl beat you to stupid. You are coming here to do. What's wrong with you? It's here. It's here. You see that 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 word, that word you use, helpless, is the wrongest English in the diction and evacuation of vocabulary excellence. You see that girl. That girl is encompassed with the multitude of Nietzsche. Yes, my spirit was evil spirit. She is not ordinary, my friend. Spare me that nonsense. I've always told the chair that you are nothing but a useless coward. I've seen it. If a graduated fool, a first class. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. Iche, if I use my head, what is anointing on him? Iche, my son, to punch him. Iche, you know I keep people every month. They go and they go and this month. What this guy in his head? Iche, I keep people every month. They go and go and this month. Come on. You keep people every month. I want to have go go. It's okay. I go have a beer. Leave it. Come. We are supposed to overpower that girl. Uh -huh. Collect those documents from her. Simple. Hand them over to me for onward transmission to the king, who will also transmit so much money to me. Then in Peter, you know, but what I want to do is enjoy ourselves. I do not want to. You are here talking. Oh, come on. I do not want to be catapulted into the realm of anger. Because if you prove me otherwise, I will tell you that I know your problem. I know your fears. Your fear is because you are very brief, smallish, and very middle in character. But don't worry. I can beg this my learned colleague to lend you his elevation shoe so that you can grow tall to look at that maiden face to face. See, it's not ordinary. Go and do it yourself. Give him your shoe. Uh, 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 see what will happen here. Eh? As you can see, he's already he's a drunkard. Even without taking anything, you can see he's drunk. No, he is. He even drink in the dream. Yes. You see what I'm going to do? Eh? I'll go there. I'll get those papers for you. Even if you, even if you need anything more than paper, I'll get it for you. And I'm going to prove this idiot that he's another. He's, he's an idiot on top of idiot and idiot again tomorrow. Don't allow me to use my mega 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 magazine, cum, judgmental Supreme Court on you. You will not like me. You see. It's here. You are supposed to take me to hospital because all my body are not speaking the same language. My head is speaking different language with my leg. My ribs, they are not communicating. Take me to hospital, you are here talking rubbish. But no problem! I will allow you to try. I wish you good luck. But when you fall back to my chamber to apply for my help, I will sentence both of you to life imprisonment in character. It's yours, you slash set of people. This, forget this man. Hey. He's a drunkard. You see, I thought you are a good man. Hey. Get out from here, my friend. Hey. See, let me tell you. Just okay. trust me. Forget this idiot. Okay. Talking about chamber, this thing, we stole that the mango tree. We don't have chamber. Huh? Yeah, let me just tell you the truth. But let me tell you something. Once I go there, I'll get those papers. Okay. And we can now get the money. I will use my own for anything I want to use it for. Then you use your own and buy fertilizer. But I'll give you a no, Tell him because your shortcoming is no, uh, very come. Bad. no, no. You see, one thing is this: I will trust you for him because your best are longer than his own. That is one. Yes, two. Yeah. Just move. Forward. move yeah, you can even buy. Move. move let's go. Uh -huh. Move. Let's go. It's here. It is either I don't understand what you are saying, or you are not explaining it perfectly. What exactly are you telling me? You gave me your words. You promised me that I would have those documents. They would be in my hand, in my possession, before nightfall. And the day is already gone. What exactly are you telling me? Your Majesty, I'm only asking you to be a little patient. Just be patient for a while. You see, there's been a little change in plans. But you still get the documents. I assure you of that. The documents will get into your hands by the end of the day. And when you say change of plan, what exactly do you mean? Do you mean to say that the barristers failed to do what we agreed? Uh, no, Your Majesty. Uh, by all means, no. Uh, you see, um, they are still doing what we agreed they would do. Uh, 
just that uh, due to the change in plans, you understand, it's going to take a little more time, just more than we anticipated. So just be a little patient. No, my patience is running out. Oh, it is. is. Majesty, just be a little patient. I assure you they will get it. I trust those guys. You don't know them. Oh, my lady. Your father was a very good friend of mine. I can't tell you how much I've missed him since his death. May so rest in perfect peace. You know, it's always good for friends of your parents to visit you, even if it means um, once in a while. I'm glad you came. Yeah. You are most welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, have you poured the drink? Yes, of course, I've done that. Okay. There is a plate of biscuits in the kitchen. Why don't you bring it so we can use it for the drink you brought? Oh, sure. Why not? Um, have your... You might just... Oh. What? Seven good hours. Seven good hours and we are still seated here waiting for one man? No, you Please, tell me something new. No, 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 wait. You see, I know. That they're still on it, I'm sure. Just Still on it? Relax. Who oh, get it? I trust those guys. Hey, I trust that they will get those things for us. Relax. What? It could have been poison. I actually thought it was poison. But when I heard you snoring, I considered you to be a very wise and a lucky man. Wait. You mean you you you, you switched the glasses? Switched? I'm only but a helpless blind woman. I only chose a glass for myself. <laughs> How did you know that How did I... I know you were going to drug me? How insensitive you can be. What do you think of yourself? That you can come into my house and do whatever you so please without me being on guard? 
I knew you were not my father's friend. Because I know every single one of them and their voices as well. But when you lied to me, I decided to be very careful and I had to take note of every move you made. You should thank your God that that wasn't poison because you would have been a dead man by now. You are the one to die before me. I'm a man. Can you please tell me the truth about where you got those clowns from? Can you please? Please. Jin yours. Your Majesty. Jin Zelu. That girl is not blind. How, how, how do you mean? That girl is a witch. What are you talking about? Jin What happened? She is evil. That girl is powerful. Hi. Your Majesty, I am not a lawyer. I am not a barrister. In fact, I'm nobody. I am not doing it again. I don't make mess. I don't want to do it again. I'm done. I'm, which one is what are you talking about? Now, my dear, you're by force. I'm not doing it again. Because I don't want it again. I'm not doing it. Wait, wait, wait. You've not told me where you got wait, this. Wait, wait. Uh, okay. no, wait. I was wait, talking wait, to you. Wait, wait. It's your turn to come back here! Elodie, everything we've done, all efforts we've made against this poor blind girl always leads to failure. Why? Why is it always like that? Elodie, do you not understand English anymore? I heard what you say. I have nothing to say. Meaning? And where do you think you're going? Bed. But I'm not done with you yet. Yes, I'm not done with you. Stop talking. The moment you see I am going to bed. Just in case. You haven't realized that it is late already. You kept me waiting over there. For a document you and I know will never come. I said nothing. Good night, Your Majesty. Now, oh, Elodie, Ilo sweet dreams. I am not done with you! I am done with you! Oh. What did she do to that young man that made him conclude that she is not blind? I told Vincent already. I am going to change the engine of that truck. They worked on that engine in May. And for it to have knocked down again shows that the engine is terribly bad. To avoid a scenario where a loaded truck will be crippled on the road for days. Don't worry yourself. I'll change it. Yes, I'll have to change the engine of the truck. The person I sent to you will soon be there. Okay?
she is still very much blind. Why would this sister say she is not blind? Goodbye, Chainsaw. You are a witch. I will do it. You are evil. A witch. A fool at 40. Always a fool forever. Ubefi, what's the meaning of this? Get out of my way. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Ashamed of what? Aren't you tired yet, Nzelo? Beg your pardon. Tired of what? Are you trying to tell me that you are not aware of the new current news spreading around the town about the blind girl and the two idiots you sent after her? So, what makes you think such a rumor is true? And even if it is true, is that enough reason for you to block my way? It is enough reason for me to warn you to give up. It is enough reason for you to stop deceiving the king. Ijemma has made it clear that she doesn't want to give her land to the king. Why digging a hole for yourself by dragging the king along with you? Why parade yourself as an Ichie whereas you are not in anywhere near the title? Nzelo? Nzelo? Ubefi. <laughs> Just hold it there, eh? Do not try to twist this one. You are not a businessman. Mm. Yes, I understand business very well. That is why I am making every effort to ensure that our king sets up an establishment in this community. Such an establishment that will grant our youths good employment opportunities and jobs. Yes. Such an establishment that will bring development to this community. But fools like you, fools like you, will continue to embarrass themselves and not me. If there is no other indigent that can sell a virgin land to the king, mm. let him go to Umunedi. Yes, Umunedi. in the olden days, people considered such forest mm. at the edge of a town as an evil forest. But we know better. That part of Umuite may resemble forest. But we know it is actually a vast area of empty land that has not be cultivated for any reason in years. It's sitting there, harboring nothing but wild animals. Let the king go there and take a portion and clear it and build his so-called company on it. Is there anything wrong with that? Nzelo, desist from your evil way. I won. You, you have been looking for my trouble in this community over the years. <laughs> but I will give you seven cartons of trouble. Yes, seven cartons of trouble. Let me see how you can carry it. Mafia, in a juku buram. Okay, my frog order. Don't worry, I will deal with you. How can you say that? What do you mean? Am I not saying the truth? That girl is simply stunned. And one day, she's going to get herself killed. I can't even believe this is coming out of your mouth. Mm. Are you sure you're Ijima's friend? I am, and that is exactly why I'm saying this. Look at how they're spreading rumors about her calling her a witch. Could she not have avoided this whole madness if she had given the king the stupid land? But no, this is as a result of her stubbornness. And I'm going to say it to her face. No, 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 no. Like, who are you right now? What are you? The, look at the things just coming out from me. Are you, are, you, are you okay? It doesn't even make sense at all. I can't believe it. Oh, you're working out on me, right? Okay, fine. But just know that I won't stop saying the truth. What a minute. What if a woman doing with lungs? Oh! Ilodibe. Ilodibe, I'm talking to you. Ilodibe! What? What? Where are you off to? Where are you going? How many times do I need to tell you that I am out for a business meeting? A meeting that would uplift 
my kingdom. I'd appreciate it if you stop interrogating me. This is about the land business, isn't it? Why did the king call you out from bed last night? Why don't you want to tell me what the king told you that got you restless throughout the night? Ilodibe, I'm your fiancé. Why are you keeping things from me? Stop! It appears you are less busy this morning. I'll give you options. Go into the kitchen, cook anything of your choice. Paint your face, paint your nails, paint every part of your body if you so desire. Or better still, walk around the compound, drive any car of your choice. But let me warn you for the very last time. Stay clear my business. Stay off my business. You hear me? I'll warn you again. Destiny made yes! it up, but never I don't know what else to do. So they call me boo. Great is my lady. Do you want anything? Get out! James? Yes. Um believe me, I'm flattered. But I told you already. I don't know why you wouldn't listen to me. I'm not like I'm the only woman in Umwiti. You seem to also have forgotten that I am blind. Uh, <clears throat> that is the main reason why I'm here. So that I can take good care of you. James, why are you too stubborn? You don't give up, do you? Yes. I will never give up. As a man, I consider myself a hero. You are my beautiful dancer. Let me in, please. Hmm? Let you in where? What is wrong with you? Listen, I am not cut out for this. What right? is it about you? What is it about you? Excuse me? I have heard your stories. My stories? Yes. Despite that you are blind, men come around you. A lot of them are rejected. But none of them can afford to hate you. They said you are, you are gentle and organized. Some of them are even saying that they would have married you. Just that you are blind. I think that is why you are so full of yourself. I beg your pardon? Listen. A man can do anything in the name of love. I have had enough of everybody beautifying you and you feel you feel as if you own the world. Free ya, you are really here today. Hey, don't just respect yourself. Hey, respect, respect, you. respect gentil, yourself. Gentil, gentil. Oh. Let me go. 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 Thank you so much, my prince. You don't have to thank me. I, I did what every reasonable man would do. I still thank God you came at the right time. I never thought in my widest dream that James would do a thing like that to me. But then, Please don't talk about yourself like that. Listen, even with all the sights, we still can figure out if a psychopath like that decides to hide the truth. He's just been like that. 
It's okay. But my prince, you still haven't told me why you're here today. Excuse me? Yes. You are in my house. Today. Again. Why are you here? I don't understand. You woke me up this late, brought me out here, and you're quiet? What am I doing here? I want you to get close to her. Excuse me. You perfectly understand what I am talking about. I understand what you mean. But I am still in denial to whom you're referring to. Father, is this... Oh, this is about the blind girl. And if I tell you otherwise, would you believe me? What I wouldn't believe is the fact that my father knows that I have a betrothed. My father knows I have a fiancé, and yet he's trying to hitch me to a blind girl? I am not asking you to marry her. All I ask you to do is to get her to trust you so she can hand over those documents to you. Is that too difficult a task to ask? To what end? I'm asking you, Father, to what end? Get close to her, take the land from her and then discard her just like that, like a trash? Is that what you want? Get her pregnant. At least that way she will become a member and a co beneficiary of the real household. Sometimes when you talk, I ask, where is your dignity, Father? Where is your sanctity? Where is your royal benevolence? Sanctity, royal benevolence. You still talk like a child. But let me tell you, son, forget the issue of benevolence. We are talking about your future. Your future as the next king of Umwiti. Have you ever stopped to think about what it means to build such a factory in Umwiti? Have you? Listen to me, my son. That land is the only large piece of land across the express. And if we succeed in building a factory there, it will attract a whole lot of eyes. That is what we're talking about. And do you know what that will mean for Umwiti? Do you? You think I do not understand the things you just mentioned? Of course I understand. But you are not Oh, trying... no boat, my dear son, Elodie You are a young man in his prime. And you should know what it means to have the unconditional love of a woman. Do me a favor. Secure your future before I join my ancestors. You're not responding to me. Um, I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't be here. I guess I was just taking a stroll in the neighborhood. I heard your voice and I decided to come rescue you. My prince, you guess you were taking a stroll in the neighborhood and you heard my voice? Come on, my prince. You're above this level of excuse. Tell me why you're here. I guess I should just be on my way. I'm, I'm sure you're good all by yourself. All right. Yes, I'm, I'll, I'm fine. I'm going to put a call to Massey, my friend. She'll come be with me. In that case, I, I have to go. Have a nice day. Please lock the door behind.
My prince, you came to my house and called me out here to speak in secret. I hope we are safe. What is this thing that you are finding difficult to say? My prince. My prince. I shouldn't have been here. Excuse me. I shouldn't have been here. What is going on? Why is the royal family in turmoil over a piece of land? Over a blind girl? This is crazy. This is crazy indeed. Uh, King, about what happened uh, with those two stupid lawyers. Uh, in fact, I... Uh, it's okay. You, you don't need to apologize for anything. I have already forgotten everything about that. Honestly, I want you to take a rest from this land case. Because uh, my son and I have decided to handle it ourselves. I don't understand. How do you mean handle it yourselves? When the time comes for explanation, you will understand. My king, I have been part of this business from the beginning. And I've calculated my commission from both sides. It's not small money. How can you just kick me out of it and expect me to like the decision? We are up against something far, far bigger than commissions. I want to handle it my own way. Uh, no, Your Majesty, how can you do it? I mean, wait, does it mean you don't trust me anymore? How kick me out like that? Why? Believe me, Jill, this has nothing to do with trust. Absolutely nothing. So, why, 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 why? I'm, only, I'm part of it. I'm in there. I'm, I'm, I'm inside. And I'm pushing it. I want to do it my own way. Unknown caller. Hello? Does it mean you do not have brains? I have told you to stop calling my phone. Why don't you ever listen? Stop calling me before I lose it and come at you the way you will not understand. Pretty mad, fearless one. This is indeed a surprise. I never expected you to be here in my house. But nevertheless, you are most welcome. Hey, Gemma, how are you? I am fine, Obwefi. I am that woman who has survived a lot. My fathers are the ones waging the war for me. Uh, anyway, I have spoken to the head of the vigilante group of Umuite. From now on, they will have their eyes and ears on you. Thank you very much, Obwefi. Huh? You shouldn't at least be living here alone. Not with everything that has been happening. My friends do come to keep me company most times. I'm fine. It's not the same as living with you, you know. Uh, but I will have to talk to their parents. Let them spend nights here with you for a few days in a week. You don't have to worry yourself, Obwefi. I... I believe that James will never try 
what he did the last time. James? Who's James? I assumed the prince must have told you what happened. And that is why you're here. Oh, you have no idea? Yeah, no, we have to sign the documents. This company will go by the decor of the dog with this thing, so sign up the thing before another thing. You you stop! You stop laughing! What are you doing? You're disgusting! What's all of it? Oh, So this is who you are and what you do! What is it? Oh, wait, please, stay back! Stay out of this! Get a grip. What did he do? He left a helpless blind guy! What? Hey, listen. Obwevi or whatever you call yourself, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't, oh. don't touch me again. Oh! If you touch me again... You don't know! Obwevi! What blind girl? What are you talking about? How many blind girls do you work with? No! 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 Not this young man! Who else? Oh my God! This is not a joke! Are you serious right now? Manager, I'm telling you what happened! You came here to do business and that has come to an end today. You are leaving this community today and never to return here again. Yes! Manager, I'm telling you what happened! You came here to do business. That has come to an end today. I'm going to report this case against you before the central deity of Moite. If by tomorrow you are still here in this kingdom, no native of Umute will be held accountable for whatever becomes of you. You have no rights. You can't do so to me. I am not a man of many words. If by tomorrow you are safe here, then we will know who owns the land. Mr. James, let me tell you. You will live along with your product and services and never to return. I mean never to return. Manager, are you kidding me? You mean to say you believe this cock and bull allegation? You are still denying! You committed an abomination with a woman of Umite. Don't worry. You will see the nice masquerade dance in the broad daylight. Bastard! Wait, I'm respecting you. Excuse me. Do you know where you are? Do you know the magnitude of what you've done? How can you try such nonsense? Manager, do you believe what that native doctor said? You have not even verified from me and you are crucifying me already, manager. Do you even know this native? Rape against Noada, a daughter of the soil, is a serious crime. Leave, Mr. James, and never to return to this land. Manager. If not, the youth of this land may set you ablaze. Leave my office. Manager, what leave now! Out of my I said leave! You rapist! Hello? Legos. So, you are telling me that you are engaged to a man who doesn't tell you anything about his plans or whereabouts? I'm sorry, Che. What's the meaning of this? Why are you interrogating my relationship? I am not interrogating you. I only asked you a question. And your inability to give me the answers that I need. No, that's what shocks me to the marrow. It shocks me to the marrow. No, Ichi. The question should be, when your wife was alive, did you know everything about her? Were you that close to her? Are you comparing my relationship with my late wife with what you have with the prince today? Ichi, what's the meaning of this? Why are you beeping your torchlight in my relationship? Egode, can you stand before any deity today and swear that you are actually in a relationship? Ichi, what's the meaning of this? Oh. You disappoint me. A god. You disappoint me. 
Itie! Itie! What is going on? What is happening? What is all this? What is the meaning of this? Why so soon? Oh, well, I cannot do it. This ends now. Does that mean you're willing to turn your back on a chance to build a legacy for yourself? Your unborn children and even beyond? Is that it? Can we look for another way? Elodie this is no longer about me. In fact, none of it is. None of it ever was. I want you to listen to me. Very soon I will retire and you will take over. And the question is, is this how you want to begin? When I sat on her couch, I felt I was doing the same thing James was about to do. Take advantage of the helpless blind girl. I did not ask you to rape Mwanda. I am a king and of course you know that I will never approve of that. You know it. How else do we achieve this? I only ask you to get her to trust you, that's all. So why are you comparing that with the moves of a rapist? What is the basis for comparison? I'll tell you the basis for comparison. James went there for his selfish interests, his personal desires. Why am I getting acquainted with the Gemma? Love? No. My personal interests and selfish desires. Now you tell me, what is the difference? Legacy is the difference. Oh, legacy. Legacy, legacy, legacy. That's all you've been saying. What's your own definition of legacy? James went to that house to get Augusty. But you went there to secure a legacy for yourself, for your future. Can't you say it? That is the difference. Elodie, like I said before, soon you will be taken over. And so I ask the question again. Is this how you really want to begin? What is the king and his son up to? Why is it that nobody is telling me anything? Does it mean that the king has finally lost his trust in me? Is it ever possible for them to break a gemma, get that land without my input? <sighs> if the king is planning to push me aside, <laughs> then I'm going to prove to him that it's not possible. It can't happen. I only asked you a little question. Just a question. Are you angry with me? I don't know why you should be angry with me. A question that requires very simple answer. <sighs> Nothing. Huh? You can kiss my back for all I care. Hey. That's a simple question. I'm more here. I know your plans. Yes! 
I understand your machinations, your evil machinations. But I tell you, yes, I know. You have gone back to make peace with the king, so you will turn him against me. But I tell you, it will not work. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know who of this kingdom. I change Zelu. Zelu may be. I don't know who of this kingdom. And there is nothing you can do about it. Don't worry. Go ahead and do whatever you are doing. Zelu. Uh -huh. I have told you that nobody cares about you. Me? I will tell you again. I... In fact, I am not in the mood of this your rubbish now. So get the hell out of my house. Me? You can't. You can't. No, wait. I should. Get the hell out of my house. I will do with you. Me, me, give me. Me, say give me. Imali, give me. Do what Imali, give me. Say what you say, Papa. Me, say give me. Me, give me. No good. Me, say give me. Imali, give me. I know of you. If you're good. I'm fine. <laughs> so, so, Ma, you shouldn't stress it, okay? I am perfect. Everything mm. is okay. No, EJ, you're not. I cannot believe that you were harassed again. See, just come home with me. My mother insists. And the truth is that I love your mother so much for everything she has been doing for me. But, my dear, I'd rather remain in my own house. I can't simply run away because some fools exist. EJ, this land controversy between you and the royal family, it's getting out of hand. And you need security. You wouldn't get it staying here. Ma, why do you worry yourself so much like an old woman? I've told you. I'm fine. Huh? OK, it's no problem. You want to see? I have another option for you. Why don't you go to the city? Travel out. Go to any part of the world. Just don't stay here. Till this whole madness blows over. Ma. I may be blind, but I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior daughter of my father. I must see to the end of this. For only a fool will run away. I am not a fool. I ask you again. How did you get into this palace? How did you do it? Onyeze, have you forgotten that I'm still a man in council? For the fact that you asked me out of the palace does not deny me the right of coming here at any time when necessary. But this is my house. I agree with you, Onyeze. But this is the place that houses the offer of Umuite. I see. I like the courage, <laughs> the effrontery and temerity. But let me put it to you. If you don't leave this place in the next five minutes, I swear by the gods of this land, whatever will happen to you, I will not be held responsible. I will leave, Onyeze. But before I leave, I want to plead with you one more time to end the trauma you are making that blind girl go through. She may not have the connection to stand against you, but she's another in Umuite. And the gods do not always take it lightly when they rise for Umada. Think about it. <laughs> when you see a bird dancing on the road, know that there is a drama behind. Yes, I will leave. Think about it. Up. 
Wavy. When did you come? I was surprised to see you. Have you reconciled with my father? I don't have problem with your father. Your father has problem with the truth. And that truth is what I have come to tell him. What stupid truth are you talking about? What stupid truth? Ilodibe set up a few questions can only be determined by the talents and the ability of human. But if you have given your best, you have already passed. There is a game oozing out from this royal family, aimed at frustrating that innocent blind girl. The men who are in the game must desist immediately before they come face to face with the spirit of Umada. Anyone they kill, I repeat, anyone they kill does not ever reincarnate. I move. My friends, I hope you are not letting this confusion match up to confuse you. He seems to understand these things better than you and my father. <laughs> my prince, don't ever let your father hear this. He will not take it kindly with you. He will not. Hmm. My prince, it's like you're on your way out. Where exactly are we going? <laughs> we move. We move. Not to worry. I'll be fine. Your Majesty, I saw the prince on his way out. I see. He didn't say where he was going to. The prince is a grown man now. He should have his reasons. Or don't you think so? But does it mean he did not tell you where he was going? It's here, Zelu. You still have not given me a detailed account of how the youth levy that was paid into your account was spent. Perhaps that is why you're here. You see, Your Majesty, I, you see, the uh, I. How many times do I need to warn you to stay off my phone? I want you to stop calling me. Stop using strange numbers to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Listen, if you force me to remember you, your family will not even see a corpse to bury. Who 
My prince, I, I don't understand what's going on. It's not been long you left, and you're back again. With so much foodstuffs loaded in my kitchen. What's the reason? Well, it's a token of my apology to you. My old leaf branch. I don't understand. Well, um... I just want to say I'm sorry. I want to apologize on behalf of my family for everything that has been done to this household. I'm sorry. But I tell you this minute, I want to make a difference. I want to right every wrong. I want to make things right. So I ask you, please, can we be friends? Uh, um, I know how hard this is for you. I understand. But I promise you one thing. I'll make things right. Uh, my prince, it's, it's not like there is a problem. But the whole thing is confusing me. I just want to... Mm. It's not like I do know what... You don't have to be confused. All I want you to do is give me a chance. I promise you, I will make everything right. Mm. <clears throat> Your Majesty, believe me when I tell you this. Obefiezudu is a very crafty and cunning man. He is dangerous. Really, he is. So whatever he must have told you or, or, or done to make you trust him again, hey, it's all a lie. All of them are lies. I mean, Your Majesty, you cannot seriously be working with him. And what makes you think I am working with him? Uh, well, it appears you have suddenly forgotten that I'm your closest friend and strongest ally. you only confident. Yes. I know you are up to something. And since you are not telling me about it, you cannot trust me with it. It only means that Obu has asked you not to. You are not expecting me to say something on that, are you? Uh, well, um, you are not obliged to say anything on that. Uh, uh, I perfectly understand, no problem. Uh, I... And where do you think you are going? Uh, Your Majesty, my house, of course. I mean, it appears I'm no longer needed here, so... Fine. Despite the fact that you have refused to tell me how you spent the youth levy that was paid into your account, I still see you as my close friend. I will tell you the truth. Sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. So. Mother, how could you? Huh? How could you? I'm surprised at you. Why, why, why would you do a thing like that? How can you expose a secret to your chain, Zelu? Why would you? What if Ijema gets to find out? What would you do? Would you at least sit down, son? Please sit down. Please sit. Well, I agree with you. That he is a terrible man in so many ways. But he is also the craftiest man you and I have ever met. So if you ask me, I'll tell you that bringing him in on a matter like this is a very good idea. I'm extremely sure that it will be of help in more ways than we can ever imagine. That I'm sure. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Else, you are not finished. I know what I am doing. Why are you home so early today? What would you have me do? Stay in the house? Father, you have to fix this issue. It's very important. Son, if this is how you want to go about this whole thing, then believe me when I say that in the next five to ten years, we will still be where we are. And this is why I strongly believe that bringing him a change on this is the best thing that we have done. Extremely good. a position to confirm that. Yes. E.G. Hmm? I know this may appear like the prince has good intentions towards you. But you need to be very careful. Extremely careful at that. <sighs> Ma. You don't have to worry yourself at all. There's no cause for alarm. The prince was really sincere when he came here. I perceived that in his voice. Besides, there was no negative vibe when he was close to me. So everything is okay. No, it's not. That doesn't change the fact that him and his father want your head on a platter. EJ, come home with me. See, my mom is worried about you. She, she just come home. Yes. She made me understand that yesterday when she came to cook and clean for me. Your mother is such a nice person. Tell her that I will never stop loving her. I know it. It's, that's besides the point. You know my mother will do anything for you. I know. Um, Ma, you have been my friend for years. You've been so kind to me. I want to appreciate you for everything you have done. But I'd rather live here in a body bag than to walk out of this house with my boot legs. Ijima, you're being serious about this. So instead of following me home, eh, you want to stay here so they will kill you for me, J. So you want to stay here. I am the most repaired man in Umulite. You are right. And when you say I'm like a father figure to most youths, including the prince, you are also right. When you say I know what it is that is going on in the prince's mind right at the moment, I have to tell you that you are wrong. For I do not know what the king is up to, neither do I know what the prince is up to. I can't believe this. Nothing but the truth. You look so desperate and disturbed. Because he doesn't tell me anything. Mm. Nobody tells me anything anymore. Mm -hmm. 
he intends to marry you. Yes, of course. Then I will advise you to do the very thing that has kept couples going for decades. And what is that? Patience. Partners run into troubled waters when they start suspecting their partners. And partners also lose their partners. Just because they turn blind eyes and pretend nothing is wrong. But in reality, everything is wrong. I already mean to say that you have already made up your mind. So why you involve me in this? Nay, everyone respects you in this kingdom. And I know she will too. Please talk to her. Hmm. Well, I don't know the kind of game the royal family think they are playing. But as for me, I will be damned to let them win. Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but first of all, you need to, you know, talk to her, make her, make her be more careful with the things she's doing. She needs to be very careful, you know, Nine. Please. I just told you, don't worry yourself about that. I will. The, nine, the most important part of this meeting is I need you to compel Ijima to start staying in our house. That house is too big for her. Please. But she has a girl that run errands for her. Oh, Nani. Ukwe, Ukwe just does her errands and then she leaves immediately she's done. But I'm, I'm thinking if she stays in my house, then I'm, I'm assured she's safe. If, if Ukwe leaves, Ijima just stays in that house. Only her. And it's too big. And I, it's, it's not safe. I don't think it's safe. Well, knowing who Ijima is, I cannot guarantee that. But I promise you that uh, I will do everything within my power to make sure she is safe. And I want to assure you now that she won't make any mistake. Take my word. My word is my bond. <laughs> no. I have told you over and over and over and over again. Stop calling me. What have I done to deserve this madness? See, eh? Just stop calling my phone. I don't want to talk to you. Just get the hint and leave me alone. Listen, if you're looking for who to kill you, look for somewhere else. Please, stop calling this phone. My love. Who are you talking to? My love, how long have you been standing there? I asked the question. She, he, she's my friend. She, <laughs> friend. He, she's your friend. Why are you coming out? Are you going to constantly be asking this question each time I make to leave this place? No, but... My dear child, one thing you must understand is that there comes a time in a man's life that he is entitled to his own privacy, whether married or not. That does not in any way mean that he does not love you again. What it simply means is that there are some things a man needs to take care of by himself without involving his wife. But your majesty... Ego -di, just go back and relax. Better still, you can open the Queen's quarters and support the opulence in that place. After all, that is where you'll be living for the rest of your life. Your Majesty, it makes me feel good when you say things like that. Well, that's simply the truth. You belong to my son and there is nothing anybody can do about that. Thank you, Majesty. So, 
Thank you, Ashuba. With due respect, Wifi. I understand your care and concern. But I assure you that everything will be fine. You assure me. How exactly do you intend to assure me? Word of mouth. That is all I have. And if you trust me, you will know that I mean every word of it. Oh, I said. I said that you believe that the royal house is not capable of killing you to get what they want. But believe me, they are. If they wanted to kill me, then they would have done that long time ago. You seem to forget that if they do, there will be no one who knows the location of the land documents. Eh? They know that if you die now, they will lose the documents forever. Have you ever thought about that? Wifi. Where are the last documents? Hand them over to me now. Wifi, they are safe. That is not what I ask. But Wifi, if you know me too well, then you will understand that I'm not so stupid to have kept it where people would see it easily. Wherever they are, they are safe. So, <laughs> beyond I believe this is my cue. I thought so. The discussion is not over. Greetings, man. Greetings, man. Oh, Wifi. Yes, ma'am. Everything all right? Mm. Everything is fine. Amaka, the friend was attacked several days ago, and you could even extend the courtesy to come and check up on her. And you think I would greet you whenever I see you? <laughs> so, we are my enemies, right? Amaka. Do you still consider Ijima your friend? Masi, I no longer consider Ijima as a woman who should run in my cycle. Meaning what? A woman who prefers to stay back in her father's house and drag a piece of land with men is not my kind of woman. I mean, a woman's priority in life should be finding a man who is willing to give her his son name. But that is clearly not Ijema's priority. However, it is mine. And believe me, I'm working towards that. Nice one. Nice one on prioritizing whatever nonsense you have in your head. Congrats. Oh, please save your sarcasm. But that is not your problem. Your problem should rather be you giving Ijema some good advice. A woman's time passes. And I'm sure pretty soon has will. And we all know that Ijema is blind. Imagine an old blind fool. And no man will marry. I advise my brother tomorrow. Oh, you shut up, you slimy, disgusting piece of shit. I can't even believe that I took you for a friend all those years and not see you for what exactly you are. Listen to me, mother. No man will pick this and put it in his house. Not even a blind man. <laughs> oh my god. Franklin, you have been my lawyer for years and yet you act like you don't know me. Why are you spouting legal terms to me? Listen, Franklin, I am not saying we are going to steal the documents. No, that is not what I'm saying. After all, we don't even know where those documents are. Yes. However, there is a plan 
to acquire the documents. And when that happens, your job is simply to change the names on it to mine and that of my son. How is that too difficult a task? Franklin, are you still sure you are equal to the task? Yes? Then get on with it. So you still haven't told me how you managed to do all those things on your own? Well, I would say it's easier for me because I literally grew up here from birth. So I know every nook and cranny at heart. But specifically, I have a girl that serves me. I pay her monthly, though she comes and goes. Ah, oh, so how come I, I never met her? Well, that is a coincidence I can't be able to explain. Come to think of it, you are here again today. You still haven't told me what brought you. Simple. We agreed to be friends, didn't we? Yes, I did agree to be your friend. So that is why I am here. Spare my leisure time to get to know about my new friend. Okay. So why don't you come with me to the kitchen and watch me cook? How about that? Wait a minute. In this condition, you can cook. <laughs> Cooking is an act I have honed and perfected over the years since I became blind. I hope you're hungry. Just come with me. But we'll have to turn. You can turn? <laughs> Come with me, it's my house. Just come with me. Oh. So tell me, what, what do you like about coming to my house? Ah, uh, everything. Why do you find it difficult to understand a simple language? I said you should leave me alone. I do not want to talk to you. You look angry. I've eaten. I've eaten. Are you my mother? How is that any of your business? Ah, Masi Chuku. Please, stay very far away from me. Please! What are you doing with that poor blind girl? Oh boy, if I'm just... You know what? However, I don't want to know anymore. I am here to tell you that my eyes are on you. Ijemma is like a daughter to me. And I won't have her hurt in any way. Ilodibe. Be very careful. Careful. That which is hidden will be revealed soon. Um, um. I sincerely love you, Gemma. Like I said earlier, my eyes are on you. Careful. I don't understand. How did he come into this palace? 
How did he walk his way into my house and made his way into one of my living rooms? Without the knowledge of any of my, 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 my guards. I don't understand any of it. Pardon me, Father. But is that your current problem? Oh, yes. Then you clearly do not understand the kind of problem Obuefi's interest in Injema will bring us. Who is he? As far as I am concerned, the man is just suffering from delusions of grandeur. And I might be forced to deal with him decisively if he continue meddling in my affairs. Why are you so bothered about something else? Why are you leaving the main issue? Oh, excuse me, Lodibe. Excuse me. Why are you behaving like a coward? Of course, you're not one. Listen, I am not saying we are going to kill the girl. No. So what is he going to do? Arrest us? Certainly he can't. What I am trying to say is, let us get the girl to willingly hand over those documents to us. That is all. And I've told you times without number that even if you get her pregnant in the process, you've done a good thing, a noble thing, and the royal family will be happy with it. Enough. might be anything, everything you can manipulate. But I am certainly not a male prostitute. Excuse me, Your Majesty. What's wrong have I done? I was only trying to calm his fears. Forgive me for not coming to visit since, as a result of my busy schedule. But EJ, I am worried. So worried about you. I want you to leave this village. You and I both know that you can very much afford to rent a conducive house in the city, or even buy one. But, why are you not doing that? Why are you still here? I'm here to protect what's mine. And trust me, I'm very okay. Even at the detriment of your safety? And I'm not just talking about James. I have heard everything that transpired between you and the royal family. And it's not as if they left you alone. The best protection anyone can have in the midst of a storm is courage. Haven't you heard of that before? EJ, I don't like it when you bring in logic to water my presentation. I sincerely wish you would listen to me. But the truth is that I appreciate your concern. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's if that's the case, no problem, okay. But why don't you just come over to my house? At least, there you will have the company and protection of my wife and sons. <laughs> if only life was so easy. My friend, I appreciate your care and concern. But not to worry. I am safe in my father's house. Very safe. Why did you drag your phone from me like that? Drag my phone? That was mine. Who has been calling you with a hidden number? I will tell you once you tell me what you've been up to since you start leaving the house to so an unknown place without telling me anything.
Well then, we have reached this torment. All I want. That's not possible. You are mine. You will always be mine. Obiora, I belong to another now. You left me for him. Let's just say I made a better choice for myself. Why? Because I'm not a prince? Obiora, just look at you. You don't have anything to offer me. You don't have ambition. You don't have nothing. I, to... I, I have no money. Is that what you are going to say? Egodi, there is more to life than money, you know, right? Stop putting words in my mouth. Do not attempt to deny it, for that's your main reason for leaving me. Obiora, let me ask you, what do you even have to offer our kids? I took very good care of you when we were together. And now you doubt my capability of being a good father to unborn children? Come on, Egodi. You know deep down that I am a hard-working man. You know. You also know that I have good plans for the future. Unrealistic plans. Plans that are anchored on nothing. That is what you keep telling yourself because you are unwilling to be patient with me. Obiora, please. Just leave me alone. Stop calling me. Stop looking for me. Stop sending me text messages. I think it's high time we said goodbye. Please. Egodi, I do not deserve this, Egodi. Egodi! Ijema doesn't know it. But she has become a major source of income for so many youth in this community. She inherited five lorries from her father. Over the years, she has purchased more lorries and that has put a whole lot of our youth into jobs. So I don't know what is going on between her and the royal family. That's why I'm here. We have to find a way to put an end to it. Oh, it will end, manager. Ijema's late father was my very good friend. And ever since his death, I have kept my eyes on her. You have nothing to worry about. That's the thing of Bwifi. I am so worried. What about if they end up doing something terrible to her? We are talking about a land dispute here. And the both of us know how deadly that can be in our land. Mm. Frankly, if you ask me, I want Ijema to leave this land. But she won't, believe me. I have tried bringing such ideas to her ears. But she turned deaf ear. What do you want me to do? But all I can do right now is to assure you that whenever the royal family want to get strong, they must go through me. I am Obuefu Ezeodo. Agada Bachelu is one of whom it is. No one dares me and go scot free. Especially when it comes to fighting for the just. Yes, trust me. I trust you. <laughs> My love, mm -hmm. my jewel of inestimable value. What can I say? I'm not asking you to put your life to be with me. I am asking you to share the rest of your life with me. Your dreams, your happiness, your sad moments. Share everything with me, baby. I may not be a wealthy man, 
but I am promising you that you will never lack a thing because I love you. I may not be a man of weapons or the strongest man in the world, but I will protect you with all I've got because I love you. Please, marry me. Yes. 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 What are you saying to me? Eh? I'm saying I'm tired. I am saying I cannot continue like this. Obio, I want to move on with my life and give it a meaning. Mommy, where is this coming from? I don't get it. Where is it coming from? Eh? Obio, it's coming from a part of me that I've decided to face reality. Hey, Mban. Mban, Obio. I can't keep waiting for you to make it in life, Obio. What do you mean? Eh? What, what's the meaning of this now? But I cannot live all my life struggling with you. Not when I have better opportunity. Better opportunities? What do you mean? I'll be right. Goodbye. Um, ego, do wait. Ego, ego, wait. Ego, ego, wait. Uh -huh. looking for a gold. She is now engaged to the prince. What? I, I, I don't understand. What don't you understand? No, tell me. What don't you understand? The fact that the young man decided to bid you goodbye. Or the fact that she now belongs to the prince. No, tell me. How, how is that possible she will belong to the prince just like that? Oh! <laughs> you want me to answer you? No, you want me to answer you? Okay, I will. Eh? It is possible and it has happened. Ego Ode now belongs to the prince just like that. Eh? Secondly, if you know what is good for you, stay far away from the palace. Do you hear me? Stay very, very far away. Otherwise, you will find yourself in a very dark prison. Very dark. Very dark prison. Okay. Just like that? After all we did together? I've lost count of how many times I had a goodie. 
she will always tell me that she loves me. What happened? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I just saw you. I thought you needed help. What are we waiting for? Go away! Leave me alone! Go away! Can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I want to see you! Questions that give you out as a law student. So tell me, did you study law in university? Uh, I do not see anything technical in my questions. I have a man who is steadily flowing into my life every day. And that man is you. So I am trying so hard to know you better and also to understand you. That's what I'm doing. You son of a bitch. So this is what you've been up to. What did you find here? What are you doing here? To catch you red-handed, of course. So this is what you've been keeping from me. It's not what you think. Don't even give me that stupid line. Aren't you meant tired of that line? Ijemba. Are you aware he's engaged? Are you aware the man who visits you frequently belongs to another? No, 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 that's Excuse it. Excuse me! Leave me alone! It's enough. Get out. Why do you want me to leave? You don't like words in the What? Leave me alone! Yes, yes. Leave me alone! Why do Get out! Leave me! Get out! Do what exactly? Huh? You think you just open your mouth and you say whatever you like? I didn't do anything to you. Father, please help me tell this girl that I did nothing to her. You're saying the truth. She has not done anything wrong. I don't believe you, Your Highness. You knew about it, yet you didn't say a word to me. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Son? Father? What is she talking about? I didn't know why she should say something like that. Because I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say anything. Apart from my son and I, you are the only one in this world who knows about that plan. Are you trying to say that you don't even... I swear to you, Your Majesty, I swear! I never said anything to you. Hey, Your Majesty. I don't know why you should suddenly distrust me like this. Why? I'm not comfortable with this. Yeah? You have a brain, don't you? You should understand what I'm saying. Yeah? Find out for yourself. It's, it's not possible. It's not possible. 
It's not possible, you say. Find out for yourself. Let me tell you. The king and his son are playing a very dirty game. Such a game that will make you lose your marriage before you even know what is happening. Listen, sabotage it now. Sabotage it now. Otherwise, you will regret it. All right, teacher, I'll see what I can do. You only want to see. Why are you not saying anything? My instinct is telling me that you cost things. Why are you denying? See, Your Majesty, I'm not comfortable with this. How can you so suddenly distrust me? How can you distrust me like this? Hey! How did you start? How did we, how, how did we get here? Hey! Yes, I wanted to apologize to you. But on the second thought, why should I? Did you catch me on bed with anybody? No. Did you see me in a compromising position with anybody? No. So why should I apologize to you? Why? Be very careful. I would descend on you in such a way that you would not believe the two people who have lived together planning to be husband and wife who would live happily ever after. You cannot believe what I would do to you. This is the height of it. Ijemma, Ijemma, or whatever you call your name, this is not going to happen. I'm going to teach you the lesson of your life. to any man. Now, have you seen what you have cost? What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Master Planner? First of all, he has denied ever telling anyone anything concerning our plan. Oh, Isn't it obvious? He's a liar! And so, what if he's the one that told the Godi where to find you? What is the big deal about that? Is a Godi no longer a woman? Oh, are you trying to tell me that you cannot handle her? Listen to me, my son. Put her to where she rightly belongs and go on with your business. Listen to me, boy. When men go for real money, they appeal to no sentiment. That is how I became rich. And that is exactly how you will remain in money. I said you should go away. Yeah. Grew up here. Knew my environment. 
before I lost my sight. Jay, don't make me cry by remembering all that. No, no, no. That's, That's not my intention. All I want you to do right now is to eat your food and then be in the mood to tell me exactly what is bothering you. Me? No, nothing is bothering me. Mm -mm -mm, do not pretend. You can pretend to any other person, but certainly not me. When you walked in here, you seemed strangely calm. The next thing you did was to go inside the kitchen and started dishing food. We both know that. You don't eat like this, else you're stressed. Why are you talking as if I've had 10 plates of food already? But this is your second one. The first one you had was in the kitchen. Or you think I do not know? Hmm? EJ, if I say you're spiritual, yet you deny mm -mm. it. Do not change the topic and tell me exactly what is wrong with you. Fine, EJ. It's Obiora. Mm. Obiora. That boy might have a good sight. But he's even more blind than I am. I do not know why you love him so much. Just EJ, I can't help it. But you can't continue to suffer like this. You have to move on. You have to. EJ, if you stay away from the prince, I'll stay away from Obiora. <laughs> what exactly are you saying? But I'm not in love with the prince. The way I just glowed. So you, you can't deny the fact you don't love it when the prince is around you. I do not have a problem when he's around me. But certainly I'm not in love with him. This Obiora hurts you every now and then. Love is not supposed to hurt. Yet, the same. It's the ones you love the most that hurt you the most. I know you're an adult. I'll just allow you to enjoy your meal. I believe you sort this out when you really want to. What? The one I'm taking. Hmm? Give me a hand. Please don't be hurt. Everything will be fine. Get out of my way. I said get out of my way before I do something we will both regret. Do it. I don't care. But if I say you're not stepping out from this house, you will not. That's what. No, you're going nowhere. You want to go and see that blind girl? Yes, what if I am? I'm going with you. Not on your life. Then you don't want to go anywhere. Get out of my way. No, I won't. Overstepping your bounds, you are getting on my nerves. Out of my way! No, I won't! What is going on here? What is going on here? Can somebody talk to me? Father, please, can you tell this woman to stay clear of my way? Your Majesty, he wants to go and visit that girl. I want to go with him. Young woman, why have you decided to humiliate yourself this way? Do you have any proof that your man is sleeping with that blind girl? Do you? No, Your Majesty, but... Then stay out of the way. Will you? Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Your Majesty... Oh, save it! I have had enough of your tantrums since last week. If you are no longer interested in becoming the queen of this kingdom, then this is the door. It will interest you to know that there are servants in this place. You cannot make a catastrophic fool of yourself. You are here again today. Oh yes, I should. I mean, after what happened yesterday, you, you don't seem happy to see me. What is the matter? The events of yesterday got me thinking. And that is why I want to ask you, my prince. Why are you here? Why are you so interested in making me your friend? 
when you are the verge of making another your wife. Why? At least by now, you should be trying everything possible to make her your closest friend, your strongest ally, or your life partner. But no, you're here, and you have visited me five times in a week. Why is it like that, my prince? Um, I just... No, no, no. Do not come close to me. I am not done talking to you. This has got to stop, my prince. It has to. What? I want you to leave my house and never return. Leave. I don't want you here anymore. Listen, I, I need you. Like I said, the event of yesterday got me thinking. And I was wondering why you, why you warmed up to me so easily like the land dispute between us never happened. And I came to the conclusion that that can only happen if you have an ulterior motive. I beg your pardon. Yes. For some reasons you want to get me to trust you. And when you believe that you have won me over completely, you can now get anything you want from me at the snap of your, of your, of your finger. I won't let that happen. Yes, my prince! Leave. I mean every word of it. Leave and never return. Don't ever come to my house again. Go! Who's been feeding you with all these lies? Who have you been talking to? No one has fed me with nothing. All I desire is for you to leave and never come back. Never come back. Never. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, let's say we are not soulmates. And soulmates always find each other. Amaka, what do you want? To be with you, of course. And I do not want to be with you. How is that so difficult for you to understand? <laughs> Obira, so after taking away my virginity, you don't want to be with me? That is not possible and you know it. Unless you want trouble from my parents. Better start thinking about getting married to me. Because for all we know, I could be pregnant. Get that into your head. Did you hear me? Get it into your head. What have I done? How, how did I get myself into all this? Ooh. 
la la. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, let's say we are now soulmates. And soulmates always find each other. Amaka, what do you want? To be with me, of course. And I do not want to be with you. How is that so difficult for you to understand? <laughs> Obira, so after taking away my virginity, you don't want to be with me? That is not possible and you know it. Unless you want trouble from my parents. Better start thinking about getting married to me. Because for all we know, I could be pregnant. Get that into your head. Did you hear me? Get it into your head. What have I done? How, how did I get myself into all this? How? But it's over. I think it's about that time we forgot about that land and proceed to the next day. I am sure she's furious because of what happened yesterday. Let us give her some time. I know that everything is going to be fine, okay? You don't seem to understand me, Father. I said that I am completely out of this land issue. It's not working. Let's forget about are it. You, are you out of your mind or something? Do you know what exactly you're saying? You're out of what? Are you insane? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you insane? How else do you want us to get that land? What haven't we done to get that land? She has bluntly refused to give it to us. And what do you want us to do? Let us forget about that land and move on. It didn't work. The plan to get her to trust us, it still didn't work. Can't we just forget about Lord, that land? son, listen to me. There must be another way. Father, can you just get this done? It's not coming through. The land is not working. She's not giving it to us. Just made it clear. What do you want to do? Kill her? Alright, let me shock you. She has said even at the point of death, she still would not give us that land. As long as there is a will, there is also a way. Leave that girl alone! Excuse me? Did you just talk to me in that manner? Are you out of your mind? Did you just talk to me like that? What did you? Sorry, Father, I didn't mean to. Oh, I see. I see. Father, please. Please. This girl is blind. She's helpless. She's lonely. Can we just forget about that land and procure any land of our choice, any location? You want, son? If uh, you weren't engaged already, I would swear with my life that you're gradually falling in love with this blind girl. Or are you? Because it's going to be hilarious. Yes. And what is hilarious about it? Son, don't tell me you're not finding this funny. Because I am. My son and a blind girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, if this happens, well, let me not say something here. Yet. Let me wait. You sound as if it's a bad thing. What? It is a terrible thing. A despicable thing. Something unimaginable. The prince of Umu is a kingdom, my son, and a blind girl. What do you want people to say? Are you trying to say that the next queen of Umu is going to be a blind woman? Of course, that is what people will say. Anyway, why are we even discussing this? Because both of us know that it's never going to happen. Never! It will shock you that what you consider impossible is indeed possible. And what exactly do you mean by that? That that which you call impossible is possible. What did you just say? You no, did I, did I hear you well? You heard me very well. Oh, I see. I see. Now read my lips, Father. I love that girl. I will stand by her and I will fight for her. Are you mad? No, are you out of your senses? How dare you? 
How dare you insult the legacy that I've suffered to build over the years with that sentence? How dare you? In fact, you must be out of your mind to even think that that will ever happen. Nonsense! I'm sorry, Father. I do not mean to upset you. I'm just telling you the truth. And what truth do you think you're telling me? I love them. Oh, shut up! Shut up and don't even say that again! What do you know about love? I sent you over to that girl to make her a means to an end, and you come back here talking about love? Now listen, if I ever hear that word from you again, say it again, and I'll crush you this minute. How dare you? What's going on? Why don't you ask this dog who is trying to make a mess of royalty? What? Nonsense! Now, what is that thing that you women do to make a man behave? What is that thing that you women try to do to make a man come back to his senses? Now, if there is anything you can do, I want you to do it with this young man because I am going to kill him. I will cut off your neck and throw it as a sacrifice into the abode of the, of the deadly masquerade. That is what I will do. What nonsense? I will kill you this minute. I will kill you. How dare you? Now listen to me, Ludibe. Listen to me and listen good. You have succeeded in making me lose my mind. So I am warning you. You better find a way to bring yourself back to your senses. Otherwise, you will know exactly what it means to live with a madman. You will know exactly what it means to live under the governance of a mad king. I will kill you! Nonsense! What is wrong with you, your majesty? Father! What is wrong? Beautiful. Extremely beautiful for all of us. But I am sorry. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Why are you apologizing? Now. So you're telling me you asked the prince out of your house and never to return? Hmm. I'm just, I'm choking on my joy right now. Like, I'm, just give me five, give me five, give me five, give me five. PJ, what is it? I don't, I don't understand at all. Am I, am I the only one happy about this situation? Why are you not? PJ, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? I need to lie down. Ah, uh -uh. you need to lie down. It is that. Are those tears in your eye? What? What is it? I, I, I say I need to. I need to lie down. I, I can't help myself. I need you to help me to my room. I, I need help. I can't leave myself. I don't know my way. Can you lead me to my room? I should lead you to you. Extremely beautiful for all of us. But I am sorry. 
I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Why are you apologizing? Understand. I don't understand anything. I don't get it. Does it mean he has done something? Is Ilodibe cheating on me? Has he done something despicable? Oh no, no, no! I can't answer me. Nothing to answer me. Answer me, I'm talking to there you. Is nothing to I see. need an answer. Answer me! I'm talking to you. I'm talking to what you! What do you want from me? What is it? Answer me. Did you cheat on me? I did not cheat on you. But then. I never laid hands on you because our marriage is still not legalized. So you don't have the right to ask me that stupid question. You paid my bride price, so I have every right to ask you. I see if I knew this day would come. All right. Breaking news. My father and your uncle, Eugene Zelu, paid your dowry, not me. So there's another woman. Tell me, are you in love with her? You're crossing that line. <laughs> and who is the line? Is there another woman? Are you in love with her? Is there another woman? Are you in love with her? <laughs> Oh, you're going to hit me. You're going to hit me. Is there another woman? Is there another woman? Is there another woman? Yes! There is another woman. Satisfied. I don't get it, man. I don't understand her mood. She's just lying down on the bed, crying. And that happened after our altercation with the prince. Well, I think it has something to do with it. Because she's just there. Like, I don't understand her mood at all. Man, it's only you that came to mind when this happened. I feel like she needs help. She's going through emotional stress and she really needs help.
can feel like an outcast in this unkindred. I will bring out the night masquerades to dance in the broad daylight for both of you. Get out of my house. Get out! Get out! Don't forget that the DP Abu has mastered how to cure headache. You can die of a stomach ache. Both of you will understand that. He seems to have an edge over you for that. What is that supposed to mean? Be careful. Be careful. That man used all sort of strong languages. You never said anything. And now you are asking me to be careful? Your Majesty, what's wrong? Am I the only man you see here? I'm sorry. No, am I? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Nonsense. What's this about the blind girl? Her name is Ijemba. A decent maiden of whom we begin now. The earlier you learn and respect that, the better for both of us. Excuse me. You are finally awake. Yes. Uh, I was here before uh, and I discovered you were sleeping. Uh, if you knew you wanted to sleep. Uh, Why then do you send Masi away? You should have allowed her to stay in the house so that by the time you wake up, hmm, you won't be alone. Nay, you should understand that I'm no longer a child. Besides, Masi is not my bodyguard. I can't always make her wait on me every single time. Even the one I pay, I still give her time to go do other things. Uh, that is by the way. Can you please tell me what transpired between you and the prince? Transpired? Yes. Nothing. I only told him to go and never to return. Just like you wanted. Then why did you suddenly uh, ask him to go. Has he done anything wrong to you? He did nothing wrong. I just do not want to see him again. Ijema. You look like you cried yourself to sleep. I am fine and I. There's, there's nothing wrong with me. That's a lie. That's a lie. Ijema. Nai, just go. I'm fine. Nothing is wrong with me. Ijemma, why are you crying? Ijemma. Your Majesty, I'm still so confused, so shocked at the same time of hmm. oh, where, where did Ijemma derive the best? Walk the prince out of the house. She did not only walk him out of the house. She asked him never to come back again. Can you imagine that? And the fool came back here telling me he is in love with that same idiot of a blind girl. That is the most confusing part of it. What is the prince doing with the blind girl? What exactly is he doing with the Gemma, the blind girl? I, I don't know if you ask me. Hey! 
I don't know if the gods are trying to use this against me, but one thing is certain. I will not be alive and allow that to happen. Mother. Never. Why? Yeah. And what is the good they doing about it? Does she know how insulting it is to her personality that her man is in love with the blind woman? Listen, um, a goodie and whatever that is left of her ego is the least of my worries right now. I invited you here so we can solve this problem. You are the only man I know that has been crafty enough getting me out of a whole lot of troubles. Well, I'm flattered, Your Majesty, but right now I can't think of any plausible suggestion. Are you, are you telling me you're not crafty enough to give me some suggestions now that I need it most? Your Majesty, do not misunderstand me. What I'm saying is that uh, uh, the, the whole thing is so confusing to me right now. Exactly. But it's confusing to me too. Yes. Even the ancestors and everyone. What is it? Your attention, of course, my good friend. You have my attention. Go on. Well, since we are going to be all rude about this, I want to unofficially invite you to my marriage ceremony. You see? You heard me. I am getting married. Though the invitation cards are not yet ready, but as I consider you my friend, so I'm inviting you unofficially. Amaka, congrats. Well, since you decided to while away your precious time with a woman like Ijemma and her treasures dreams, I decided to get myself busy with what other sensible women out there are doing, which is looking for a husband. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Amaka, to you, looking for a husband is a big deal, yeah? Well, Amaka, there are 10,000 women out there who don't want the liabilities of a husband. And um, because you've decided a husband would be your new obsession, well done. Aren't you going to ask me who the groom is? We'll find out. Your wedding day? Your child? We'll find out. Okay, 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 fine. I will tell you. His name is Obiora. Hmm? Ah. Which Obiora? I believe you heard me. Yes. <laughs> Which Obiora are you talking about? Oh, why wouldn't these girls just leave me alone? What is the meaning of all this? Why are you punishing me? Answer me. What business of yours is it? Just Why are you so concerned? Answer me. Yes. Yes, Master Chuku. I am getting married. Are you satisfied? To who? What is wrong with this girl? Answer me now. To who? I am getting married to Amaka. What? You heard me. I am getting married to Amaka. Huh.
can't believe I've loved that man so extremely. And with all my heart all these years. I can't believe I practically forgot dignity and threw myself at him. Yet, he never for once took a single look at me. Indeed, it's true what they say. The worst thing that can ever happen to any human being on this earth is to love and not to be loved in return. I had such sincere love for him. And I would have stayed with him. Oh, how I longed to build a life with him. Now he has simply licked my heart. I'm a beautiful woman. Yes, I'm beautiful. And if Obira has rejected my love, I am sure there is another man out there who will gladly have it. Because more than anything, I believe that for every individual on this earth, that has love in his or her heart. There is someone special out there for him or her. And by God, I deserve whoever that is. By God, I am going to meet him soon. So I will never weep over Obiara again because he's, he's now a thing of the past for me. The prince is in love with Ijemma. But the question is, is Ijemma also in love with him? I mean, does she love him back? If it turns out she does, is that not the end of my commission? That I left my door open doesn't give you the right to come into my house without knocking. What exactly have you come here to do? Ichi Enzelo, I know you're the one. What exactly have you come to do in my abode? You insolent girl. I'm a titled man in this kingdom and therefore I reserve the right to go wherever I choose. Wrong. You are wrong, Ichi Enzelo. You are a titled man, yes. You are free to go wherever you please. But you are not allowed to step your foot into someone else's land. You are also not allowed to step your foot into someone's house without knocking. You don't have that right. And mind you, that my father was a titled man before he died. And this is his house. Your father is dead. Dead, dead, dead and gone. Therefore, I can come into this compound, anywhere in this compound, and do whatever I like. And no one, not even you, in fact, you especially, cannot do anything about it. Yes, because you are a mere woman. A mere, weak, blind woman. I am beginning to see your venture into my house as harassment. And I'm going to call you out if this does not stop. Ichie, you are aware that the women of Umitem also have rights. Listen, you can do your worst. In fact, go ahead and do your worst. You wage your war against me. Let me see. You are in my house today. What exactly do you want? Just one question. One question only. 
And what is it? Are you in love with the prince? I beg your pardon? Let me rephrase. The prince of whom is the kingdom has just confessed to his father that he is in love with you. What does that mean? The prince is in love with me? Are you also deaf? Or you can't understand the words that are coming out of my lips? You said the prince is in love with me. How? The prince? Ijema, why are you behaving like someone whose brain has gone on vacation? The prince is in love with you. So he has confessed. Now the question begging for an answer is, are you also in love with the prince? That's all. Are you? Ijema, I'm asking you, are you in love with the prince? Are you really in love with a blind girl? Or you just lost your head over some prolonged, lustful feelings that you cannot really handle? What exactly are you talking about? Father, I am not a child. I know love and I know its true feelings. And I will tell you, father and son, I love that girl. So sorry. At what point did you realize that you are in love with that blind girl? At what point did you think in this convoluted brain of yours that you have fallen in love with that blind girl? Tell me. The moment she turned down an open check, that moment, love eluded me. Excuse me. I, I didn't want to jump into a conclusion. I needed a little time to really be sure of what I was feeling. And then father looked deep and I see a queen in that woman. You fell in love with a blind girl the very first day you set your eyes on her. And as if that is not enough, you still have the temerity, the effrontery to qualify that same blind girl, a queen in Umute kingdom. Come on. Well, considering the fact that I do not know who she was before I traveled to London, it's been a few days I got back and I paid her a visit. I think I really love this girl, Father. Do you know what you are saying? Of course, Father, I know what I'm saying. I fell in love with E.J. Ma the very first day I said, oh, is now. Do you really know the meaning of love? Do you? Of course, Father. Really? Yes. Remember, you told me you fell in love with Mother the very first day you said, oh, is now. Does it mean that you were not certain or you do not know what you were saying us at that time? Elodie you insulted yourself when you told me you are in love with a blind woman. And as if that is not enough. You are now insulting me by comparing that same blind woman to your mother, my wife, the queen. Now let me tell you something. My wife, your mother, was not blind. Neither was she in any land dispute with my father. And I put it to you here and now. That you and that blind girl don't have a future together. Except I am not alive. It will not happen. You're not going to die, Father. You're going to live to witness that day. You will cherish it. You will bless it. You will love it. I assure you. You are going to make a terrible king. Very terrible one at that. But I am going to make a very lovely husband. That's all that matters. Hey God, you really are a failure as a woman. You're a failure. Excuse me. 
You had me, right? Uncle, what have I done to deserve this insult from you? Oh, you've done everything. You did. Let, let me tell you something. Yeah, Fabon will bear me witness that I did everything within my powers to ensure that you moved into the palace as wife to the prince. But who do I get? This? Is this not what I get? She's are sounding as if I've done something wrong. Of course. You do everything wrong. Everything you got there. Everything you did wrong. Let me tell you something. A woman who cannot keep her man to herself is nothing but an abomination to you, womanhood. Yes, womanhood will reject her. It is it my fault? Is it my fault that things are not working out between the prince and I? It's not my fault at all. Hey, you it. No, it's my fault. It's my fault. Let me ask you. Are you not the one that is sharing the same bed with him at night? No. Whose bride price did the king pay? Mine? No, is it mine? It's my fault. It's my fault. It will really interest you to know that the prince has not touched me since I moved into the house. What? It's again. You heard me. You mean? He has made no attempt to open your your pot of gold. Eh? No, he has not tried it. No, Ichi. As far as the prince is concerned, he will not touch me until he takes me to the altar. What useless altar? No! What useless altar? Eh? Excuse me. Is this what going to London has done to this young man? Hey. But they got it. He has paid your price. And as far as I'm concerned, he is your husband. He's your husband. It's so do it. It's he thinks otherwise. There is nothing I haven't done. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. But they got it. Listen, this is all your fault. It's your fault. And I'm wondering how. Uncle, am I supposed to grab him and force him into me? If need be, grab him, force him into you. Yes. But you cannot do that. You can't. Yes. That is why the prince has chosen a blind woman, Wani Bulisi, over you. Y yes, you don't know. A blind woman? Hey, you know head. You don't know. <laughs> Your prince, you know the bear, has fallen in love with Gemma, the blind girl. You know Gemma? Uncle, what is that supposed to mean? What is it supposed to mean? What I mean is that your Priscilla Dibe has fallen in love with Gemma, the blind girl. Yes! In the and you know what? She clearly loves him too. She loves him. Let me tell you something. I just paid her a visit. And when I asked her, hey, Gemma, are you in love with the prince? Guess what happened? She said nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which means she is in love because if she were not in love with the prince, she would have denied it. Instead, she completely ignored me. She said nothing to me. Good. As my late brother's daughter, Ia Febon will continue to bear me witness that I have done everything within my power to give you a better life. But you disgrace me. Egode, you are a failure. A very big failure. Oh. 
alcohol like square up so. What the hell are you doing to me? You must be a mad person for asking me that question. Yes. Yes, I am mad. Look at your family. You are responsible for my madness. Mm. Ilo Dibi, are you in love with that white girl? This is the part that gets me very angry. You bastard. Are you in love with a blind girl? Ilodibe, you chose her over me. That sees a contest now. Ilodibe! She wins. My dear, one thing you must never forget is that Umuite can never crown a blind woman queen. Where has it been ever heard that a kingdom crowns a blind queen? Allow him continue to fool himself. As far as I am concerned, you are the next queen of Umuite. You should have seen the way he was talking about her. The look in his eyes. The prince, like every other young man, is passing through a phase. I am very sure that what he actually feels for her is pity and not love. Just a matter of time. I know that it will come out of it. Just relax yourself, okay? Oh, your majesty. He told me he's going to love her forever. Imagine the embarrassment. Living and loving a blind woman for the rest of life. To feel good. You know what, Igodi? I am the one that paid your bread price. So I am the one who is going to decide whether you leave the palace or not. And if you ask me, I will tell you that instead of crying, you should be finding ways on how you walk on your man. Yes, it is time to realize that you are the only woman in his life. And the only person that will do that is you. Do you understand? Amaka, what do you want? Haven't I agreed to your plans? You said you wanted us to get married. I have agreed. Why won't you just let me be for one whole day? Obira, we are getting married. I know you have not accepted this. But you have to understand that couples who are heading towards matrimony 
are supposed to spend quality time together. And I do not want to spend time with you. Yes, I may have agreed to marry you, but that doesn't mean I'm a happy man. Amaka, getting married to you is a death sentence to me. A death sentence to you? Obi, do you think that I'm equally happy about everything? You took my virginity. You didn't even woe me. But here I am with no other choice than to marry you. Don't make me sad. Because if you think you are angry, you brought it upon yourself. Just look at the argument coming from the lips of a demon who drugged my food. You know what? Get out. Well, in case you have not gotten to realize it yet, this is my house. Our house. So you don't have any right to throw me out. To kill and bury you here is another option. Get out. Hope you are stop talking tough. If I were you, I would do everything possible to make this lady before you happy. Because she might wake up one morning and decide to tell her parents that you raped her and took her virginity. Be very, very careful. I warn you, be very, very careful. Hello, Dibe. Do I look like an idiot to you? With you, I haven't come here to waste your time. I am serious. I see no seriousness here. I see a young man who has come to my house to insult my intelligence, my personality, my integrity, and my simplicity. The one man I love and respect in the whole of this kingdom. I cannot insult you. Why? So what makes you think I will begin the fact that you are in love with Ijemma? What I feel for Ijemma is genuine. The more you deny, the more I see the lie. I am not lying. Now listen, young man. You may be telling me the truth, but I am not impressed. Considering who your father is, whatever that comes from the egg of a snake must surely be a snake. I agree with you totally. But on a second thought, I am not my father. I love you, Gemma. I will prove it. Fine. If you claim you love her, what are your intentions towards her? To marry her. To make her the love of my life. The queen of my heart. Those are my intentions. You want to marry a blind girl? And crown her the next queen of Umute. Okay. Making her the next queen of Umute is not my priority. Because I know this move will earn me this own from my father. But I'd rather lose everything. I'd rather lose the throne. But I am not prepared to lose the love of my life. Prince is in love with you. <laughs> wow. Um, I feel same way. I feel same way too. Don't you find this strange? I don't even know what to believe. And don't believe anything. Because me, don't trust anyone or anything from the royal family. Because I smell a very big rattle. Every big one. 
think so too. You do. What do you feel? Talking about the prince. How do you feel about him? Uh, who is coming? Who is coming here? It's a good the fiance to the prince. So this is she. The woman my man has chosen over me. The reason I will soon be humiliated in the entire Omoite kingdom. I can't believe it. Look at her. Blind and miserable. Look at me. Beautiful and perfect. Yet I don't even know where or how to find the key to Elodibe's heart. But she does. Why is she not saying anything? It's none of your business. If she doesn't want to talk, then she's deaf. Say what? Mercy! Hey, 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 you don't get to do that. Excuse me? You heard me right. If you don't get to come into someone's house, stand there and look at her for a long time with so much hatred in your eyes. But I just did. What are you going to do? Beat me? Arrest me? You still think you have the world under your feet, don't you? After leaving Obira for the prince, you must have prided yourself in making the best decision any woman would ever make. Well, sorry to bust your bubbles. Obira is getting married. What did you say? God, you're so slow. Obira is getting married. Which? Which Obira are you talking about? The same one that, you know, I've gotten down with you on so many occasions. You may wonder to who. Well, why don't you find out for yourself? <laughs> and let me warn you, the next time you come into this house and display your madness, I will lose you like a tree. Okay, I'm getting married. Is that why you are here? Answer me. Hey, Goody. You have no business coming to my house, much less asking me that kind of question. Then I suppose you're truly getting married. So what? Who are you getting married to? Pardon? Obira, who are you getting married to? Like I said before, you have no business coming to my house. To me? Amaka, surprise, surprise. What? Um, Obi Love, can you please ask this woman to leave our house? You heard her. Obiora. She is the one I'm getting married to. I heard the priest has dumped you for a blind woman. <laughs> Life is tough, isn't it? You know what? Just leave here now before I show you another dark side of life. Amaka, I don't even think of further embarrassing yourself because you don't even have the right standing here in this compound. You lost that right long time ago. Now leave before I rip this ridiculous royal dressing of yours to pieces. Seriously, you are not even a queen yet. From the look of things, you can never be a queen. So why make public ridicule of yourself like this? You bitch, son! Egodi, have you engaged a mad woman in a mortal combat before? Hell no, from the look of things, I'm guessing you have not. Now leave before I change my mind and give you that experience. Leave! Get out! Leave here now! Leave! Obiora is mine! 
He's mine. Only me will have him. Up there, you are mine. Get in here. He's mine, eh, Gozi? Begging you, Bikunu, or one your ma. Ejim Shinek and I, Yogi. See, you know I'm actually an architect by profession. I, I, I'm a graduate. Eh? The only problem I have is that I have not gotten a good paying job. And I do not have the connections to travel and, and, and spend days searching for a good job, too. Eh? Obi. Ego, Ego, please, don't do this. You know I'm a hard working man. And the money I've made from the construction jobs I've been doing in this village and other villages, I have managed to provide for you. Eh? Look at, look, look, look at this ring. I bought it with my money. My hard-earned money. I saved for it. Eh? Please don't do this. Don't reject this ring, Biko. I bought it for you. Please take it back. Oh, 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 I really do not want to do this, but you are pushing my hands. Look at this jewelry. Look at them. The king gave them to me just because I simply accepted to marry the prince. Ego, these jewelries are gifts from the king, not even the prince. This ring that I'm holding is a lifetime gift for me, from a man that truly loves you, from a man that you love from your heart. Ego, you promised me that you will be with me forever. You promised me that you love me so much. Ego, please don't reject this ring. I'm begging you. Biko, no. Oh? Obiora, I may not be in love with the prince for now. I know you're not in love with him. Obiora, no. But this jewelry shows that I will have a good life with the prince. Obiora, just look at the kind of ring you gave a woman you claim you love. Obim, the love in my heart is more than gold. Please, I am begging you, let us groom this love like you've always done. Eh? Please, Bikunu, don't break my heart. Biko, I'm my lucky. Please, Obi, Obi, I am sorry. I cannot just wallow in poverty. Do you even know the kind of jewelry I'm holding? The only thing that I'm asking of you is time. You know I have saved so much over the years and very soon I will start a very good business and then I can give you the words. Please, all I'm asking for is time. Stop, Obi, stop, Obi, stop, Obi, stop. Hi, I'm a little bit. I'll call, I'll call, I'll call, Biki. Obi, no, Obi, please. Obi, sometimes it's better to accept defeat. Why staring at it in the face? Please, keep the ring. I believe someday you will find a woman who will accept the ring. Obi, please. I wish you well, Obi. Obi, Obi, Obi don't do this. Obi, I don't want. I don't want Obi, another stop. woman. Because I'm begging Obi, you. Obi, please stop. Obi, no, you will not die. Obi, 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 This 
is my prince. Greetings, sir. What a surprise. Yes, you can say that. I never dreamt I would be here. Please, have a seat. No, my prince. Um, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Is everything all right? It will be when you hear what I have to say. All right, I'm listening. The news around town is that you claim to be in love with my friend. I do not claim to be in love with her. I am actually in love with your friend. I see. Nothing. Nothing but the truth. So you would do anything to protect her then? I'll give my life if it calls for it. Then warn your fiancé. Keep her in check. A goodie. A goodie was in my friend's house. And it was not a friendly visit. My prince. This girl has got some nerves. My prince. I'm here out of courtesy and respect for you. But the next time. The very next time I see a Egodi in my friend's house, I will report her to the women of Umite, and I'm sure you know what that means. My friends. Yes, I do. Wait. How is she? You insist you're in love with her. Find out for yourself. You already know I'm angry. So for your own good, just give me a direct answer. I'll ask you again. Did you go to Ichema's house? Yes. Yes, I did. What are you going to do? Would you beat me up for that? Not even for the joke, you I will kill you! What did you have in mind? What did you have in mind? Why did you go to the house? Nothing, nothing. I, I swear I was going to I was not going to what I swear, I swear, I swear. Now shut up. Listen and listen real good. Let us be the last time you ever step foot into our compound. You hear me? Yes, 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 yes. You hear me? Yes. Do you understand? Thank you. I can't believe this. The prince actually appears to be genuinely in love with Ijima. Hmm. How a whole prince suddenly fell in love with a helpless blind girl is what I would never be able to understand. That look on his face says it all. He's so contented. I can't believe that this girl is now practically living in my house. And I'm fetching firewood. Firewood. So that she can cook with it. Cook for who? For me? No. I'd rather die than have a taste of that food. Never. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I just saw you. I thought you needed help. Go away! Leave me alone! Go away! Can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I want to see you!
Egode. Egode. I cannot tell you. I can't help you. You see, I don't know where to procure the type of love potion that will make a man who is already truly in love with another woman to work for him. Hey. If I, even if I want to, I don't even know where I can procure that kind of love potion. I don't even know where, whether it still exists. Then on who you must have another idea. What do I do? Idea? Yes. You go there. This is pathetic. Even a hungry beggar does not look as, as, as desperate as you are now. In fact, Egode, you have failed. Accept your defeat and leave me alone. I have more important matters to discuss with the king. Oh no, you don't. Your, your majesty. majesty. Egode's current problem is more important than any other matter you think that you have to discuss with me. I was just, uh... Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I have the solution to this madness. Really? Yes. Just come. Uh, just, just come. What's the, the solution? Can you please let me? No. No. Why? Why? Yes, why? I do not trust you. Really? You see, all of a sudden, you don't trust me. You've been listening to them. Jim. Your wildest dream, you, you think I... Prince Hilo Dibé will harm you. Listen, my prince. I... I... I understand. You may be blind. But I'm sure that God blessed you with the most important sense. The sixth sense. Which is the ability to know the capabilities of the people around you, the people before you. I have been standing here for a while now. If I am capable of bringing any harm close to you, if you had sensed danger around you, you will be screaming at the top of your lungs by now. I still do not want you here. I do not want you to come inside my house. Major. I fell in love with you from the moment I set my eyes on you. I'll never harm you. All I want to do is love you. I love you. I'll always love you. I cannot stop loving you. So I don't care what you think, how you do it. I will never stop loving you. Speechless. It's all right. If that makes you happy, I'll leave. But if you've never nurtured any form of feelings for me, then you will stay here. Listen, while I walk away, 
I promise you one thing. I'll walk away. And I will never come back. Wait. Please do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Despite what I feel, I don't think it's wise for me to let you come close to me. You are sure about this? I initially doubted this. But after meeting with the prince today, I can attest to the fact that he has lost his head over Ijima. And that is strange. Exactly nice. Uh, what about Ijema? What are our true feelings for the prince? Hmm. That is one question I don't have an answer to. Ijema is your best friend, is she not? She is nice. How do you tell me that you don't know her feelings towards the prince? Hmm. Nah, that means you don't know Ijema. Ijema is very mysterious. You won't even know what she's thinking or what she wants to do. Ijema. Hmm. You don't even, you don't know if, if she's in love with the prince or if she hates the prince. Ah, she'll just be looking. You know that gaze, I wish that I don't know, I cannot describe her. Mm. I like Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think that I'm going to leave you in peace simply because you have agreed to marry me? Hell no! You lie! Go and collect that bride price list. Did you hear me? Go and collect it because I'm not going to leave in your house for free. Then go! I'm like, go back home. Nobody's holding you back. <laughs> go! My friend, you lie. You lie. You must collect that bride price list. And you must pay my bride price whether you like it or not. Did you hear me? Whether you like it or not. Then you will have to wait for me to go and steal because I do not have any money. You are the one who chose to be in my house. You either take things the way they are, or you go back to your parents' house. Obiara. As for the bride price, I will get to it when I get to it. Obiara might be pregnant, so. I might be pregnant, so. Beautiful. Mm. Clap for yourself, fine. Then you better forget about the bride price and start serving for the baby. What? Yes, you heard me. That is the best I can offer. The very best I can offer. Well, you may spill it. I don't have all day. Well, Your Majesty, it's just that... Can you please go straight to the point? Or you will get on my nerves. I thought about what you asked me to do. I'm sorry, I... And what? And what? Majesty, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I see. Yes, Your Majesty. I, I, you know what? I, I, I find it very difficult to believe that timid women like you still exist in the society today. I beg your pardon. Oh, me. yes. That is because of the normal scheme of things. Women will go crazy. Some will even kill for this. But you're here standing. Standing and talking to me that you cannot perform a simple task like this. Honestly, if I had known that you were this feeble and uh, useless, I wouldn't have paid your bride price. I wouldn't. Majesty. Oh, yes. You have just one month. One month to perform the thing that I ask you to do otherwise. You're out of this palace. Your Majesty, resolve. What do you mean by resolve? For you to ask me this kind of question, you are even more stupid than I thought you are. Am I not a lucky man? Why do you say so, my prince? <sighs> what else will I call myself? I mean, 
Look at me, I'm supposed to leave, but you brought me in and I'm seated close to you and you know we're talking, so if I do not relate that to care, sense of love and affection, then what will I possibly call it? My prince. Accept it. When are you going to summon courage to tell me if you love me or not? What are you doing? I'm testing the waters. Mm. All right. Stop. Welcome, darling. Welcome. Sit down. I've been waiting for you. Sit, sit, sit. Stop staring at me like that. I was waiting for you to come back. Okay. I'm here now. I wanted to apologize. Listen, I know your father married me, brought me into the house, paid my bride price without your consent. I have put myself in your shoes and I just wanted to apologize. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> so, hey, goody. I didn't see this, this talent in you. Never knew you were such a great act. So you think this, this, and this will automatically make me fall in love with you? Come on. No. You are wrong. I'm not doing all this to make you fall in love with me. As a matter of fact, I'm leaving the palace tomorrow. See, I know marriage did not work out between the both of us, but I would love us to remain friends. If you don't mind. will be friends. After all, you you were supposed to be my wife, so why not? Friends. So I can always count on you as a prince. Anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so how is Ijima? I hope she's good. Yes, she's, she's good. That's nice. I make something for you. You will like it. You will like it. 
Come on, put it. Okay. This isn't right. This thing I have with the prince isn't right at all. Common sense says I shouldn't let him come close. Common sense says I shouldn't trust him. And even if I want to consider a future with him, I am nothing but a blind girl. I am supposed to believe the fact that he is in love with me. Yet, somehow, I do. I am happy whenever he's around me. And is it okay if I'm equal in love with him? Dear God, what have I gotten myself into? What do you want? I just asked the question. What do you want? Okay, fine. I want you to come inside and hold me. Excuse me? You hurt me. You are a man and I'm a woman. And soon we'll be married. So what is so strange in what I've just asked? That will be over my dead body. Excuse me? Amaka, you said you wanted to live in my house. I have given that to you. You said you wanted me to marry you. I've agreed. But that is all you will ever get, my dear. Because my body is off limits to you and will always be. Upira. Upira, we are getting married. I took my virginity. And now... You are just going to leave me like that? Check it now. It's not fair. This is not fair. You're not treating me well at all. Amaka, you drugged me and we had sex. It was never my intentions or desires to touch you or take anything from you. So you better keep that memory from that day in your heart. Hold it and conserve it because that is all you will ever get for the rest of your life. Baby. I know I may have dropped you, but I didn't tie a rope on your neck and force myself on you. You did it and you enjoyed everything. Please come inside and hold me, please. Please, my love. Oh, oh, okay, okay, fine. What do you want? Please come inside. You want me to hold you inside? Yes. I've heard. Just go, I'm coming. Really? Yes. Thank you. I knew you have always liked me. And I also knew that I'm not wrong to be with you. Why are you preaching now? I just told you to go inside and wait for me that I am coming. Why are you preaching now? The one no? It's okay. Go, I'm coming. I love you. I'm waiting. You got the now.
It won't. Oh my goodness, it worked. The king was right, it worked. Okay, um, this is going to be a little stressful, but I hope you learn it. <laughs> Nice try. Nice try. I was going to forgive you. Something you said kept ringing in my head. You see, I know marriage did not work out between the both of us, but I would love us to remain friends. If you don't mind. I might not know much about women. I know that they don't give up their men easily. Not when love is involved. You just proved it that you never loved me. Look at you. I don't you. No, you don't love me. Sorry. You know nothing about love. <laughs> it might interest you that I know about your ex, Obira. You jilted him, then you came after me because of one. My affluence. I'm sure he must have been the one behind all the strange calls. But this is so. But this is so right. Once again. Good job. Freeze. I'm sorry. I love you. I freeze. I'm sorry. I truly love you. Freeze. It will not happen. She will not go anywhere. Do you hear the sun? A god it goes nowhere! Really? Get ready to buy her. Because if there's any husband for her in this house, your lie, son. Your lie, son. A god is your wife. A bright price was paid on her head for you. So that is how it will remain. Do you understand? And poisoning my food. That was your idea. I'm ashamed of you. I am extraordinary. You talk to me like that. Have you forgotten that I am your father? Have you? Which is quite unfortunate. Unfortunate for me. Unfortunate for you. Unfortunate for this witch. I will never marry her. Over my dead body. Over my dead body will that happen? Son, will you come back here? What nonsense! And you, I'm ashamed of you. You cannot perform a simple task as to getting a man to sleep with you. What kind of a woman are you? Oh, so sorry for yourself. Don't even talk to me. Useless, stupid fool. Even blind Idemba seems to have more wits than you. Disappointed. Son, I am not done with you yet. You. You. My friend, who's your friend? Zippy. Who's the one who was greeted? So you're responsible for this marriage deal, right? What marriage? What more marriage? What marriage? You are responsible for all the rash decisions my father's taking as king. You! Every negative thing that has transpired in this palace, you! 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 I don't understand. You don't understand. 
You don't understand. You don't, you, you don't understand. I'm talking about Egudi. I am talking about your niece that you brought into this household. Take her back. You hear me? Take her back. Take her back. Take her back? Yes! Take her back. Take her out of this palace. She's your niece. And you brought her into this palace. You paid her dowry with your money so you don't even have to return anything to me. Go in there. Take your niece out of this palace. And you stay out of this palace. You hear me? God. Simple assignment. Simple task. And you failed. Then as a woman, you failed to get a man to sleep with you. How? Yafebom. Yafebom. He formed an opinion even before meeting me. It goes beyond getting him to do anything with me. No, you go. I finally give up on you. Give up. Uncle, please stop insulting me. Stop humiliating me. Insulting you? Humiliating you? Hey, wait until you find yourself out of this palace. No, wait until you find yourself among the maidens of whom is there once again. Then you will know the very definition of insult. Then you will know exactly what it is to be humiliated. Uncle, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. Hey, you sound as if you've been doing something. No, since you came here, and all the while you've been here, have you been able to do anything for yourself? Because if you had, you would have been nine months pregnant by now. Instead, here you are. The very definition of uselessness. Uncle, I cannot take this insult anymore. I just can't. I can't take it. No, wait until the king pulls you out of the palace. Just be glad he has not done that already. Be glad. This girl's stupid nature is messing up. I can't believe she is this slow in action. And if the prince ends up with the gentleman, then everything is ruined for me. Everything I've been working for over the years. Your Majesty. We cannot continue to let this happen. This union between the prince and the blind girl must be brought to an end. Yes, the very end. What do you suggest that I do? At this rate, I am totally out of options. Your Majesty, you are the king. Just banish her. Send her away. Banish an innocent poor blind girl from this kingdom? On what grounds? You can say she tried to seduce the prince. Yes. And what would you have me say when the prince denies? Prince denies it? Well, that's a small thing. You tell them the prince is under the influence of a very potent love charm. That is why he's playing that way. And when that is proven otherwise? Your Majesty, you realize that if the prince marries the gentleman, that will be the end of your quest. I mean, your agenda for that land. Comes to an end. I know that. In fact, nobody knows that more than I do. Which is why I am asking you if you still have other viable suggestions to make. Your Majesty, I have suggested that we banish her and you refuse. Okay. Why don't you just find a way to kill her? Yes! 
kill her and put an end to all this madness. Yes. Chinzel, do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? Kill her! Your Majesty, I'm only trying to help you. I'm just saying. I'm only trying to help. I mean, it's not as if this thing is, uh, is, more, is, is so important to me. I'm only trying to help you because of what you stand to be in there. For. It's just my little commission that... Uh, but I want to help you. I was wondering how long it will take you to finally come and see Oh boy, if I just couldn't summon the courage. <laughs> Did you commit murder? Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I heard your story about that woman. Is it true? Or are you planning to marry her? To tell you the truth, I wish I never met that girl in my entire life. Wasn't she your girlfriend? No. Oh. That girl was a pain in my neck, always following me around. Oh. You didn't sleep with her? Um, Wifi, I, I, I just can't explain. You can't explain whether you slept with her or you just don't know why you slept with her. Which of them? She said I did. Huh? She said? Yes, she said. I see. Uh, Obwefi, uh -huh. I'm in trouble and confused. Uh -huh. What do I do? Prince, what seems to be the problem? You haven't said a word to me since you got here. You have been moody. What is the problem? Is there an issue? How did you become blind? My Prince. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I do not mean to pry into your past life, but I'm desperate. I need to know how you became blind. I want to know. It, it happened mysteriously. I was stung by bees. Bees? Yes. Bees from the shrine of Ogbangwada. That deadly masquerade? Yes. Every of the sea my father and I visited said the same thing. When did this happen? During my first year in the university. My goodness. This happened immediately you started school? Yes. 
My father tried everything he could. He did everything for me to see again. But it never happened. He tried both English and traditional medicine. Even the men behind the masquerade of Ogbangwada were even confused. Because they couldn't understand why someone could go blind from the sting of bees. So they came to the conclusion that Ogbangwada had become demonic. So they had to get rid of it. It was squashed. Yet you're blind. The Yogwambada masquerade was destroyed years ago. Why bring up the whole issue now? Do you seriously think that we did not do all we could to restore back Ijema's sight again? We try all our best. I just think your best wasn't good enough. I beg your pardon. I don't believe that a person who wasn't born blind all of a sudden mysteriously became blind one morning and then there is no solution to regain that sight. I strongly do not believe that. Why are you saying this? Why did you suddenly decide to wake sleeping dogs? I love you, Jemma. She's the one I am going to marry. So you've given her back. Her sight is the last thing I do. Then I consider it a token of my love for her. As long as I live, she would regain her sight. I'll make sure of that. Anu Muite. The prince claimed to have fallen in love with a helpless blind girl. That young woman is like a daughter to me. But I find it difficult to believe that what the prince is saying is the truth. And even if it is the truth, is Umuite kingdom going to end up with a blind queen? I find the possibility difficult to believe. So I ask, for a sign. Give me a sign. If the prince truly loves this woman and they are meant to be together, show me a sign so I can support them. That is all I ask for.
Why you? It's a lot better. Okay. You made dinner for me. Why are you sounding like I killed someone for you? And Just then you cleaned the house. Your parents and mine were like family before they died. Your family. Yeah. Hi. It's your crazy bazo. Okay, so I have to go now. It's late. Hi. Thank you so much. Chukugo is here again. When you're done, you can keep the place if you can take it. And when I come in tomorrow, I'll take it. Okay. Be careful, oh. I will. Take Hi. 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 I miss her. I miss her. Oh my God. Baby, you miss me? I know you definitely come around. Um, Ami, mm -hmm. tell me the truth. On that very day that you drugged me, did we have sex? Yes, we did. And it was so memorable. Believe me. Why are you asking? Um, I was just thinking out loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I want us to go somewhere. Where? Just come. Mm. I'll <laughs> be my love. A woman that's like. How will she know what to do or how to touch you to satisfy you? Eh? No. A blind woman. How will she know how or what to cook for you? A woman who can't see. How can she take care of your children when she gives birth? A blind woman surely will never know but there, but there's no way she can know the difference between you and another man if a stranger decides to come to her at night. Enough! That's enough. Yeah. What is enough? Allow him to tell you the truth. He is telling you the truth. Thank you, my king. Now, let me ask you a question, Elodie. Now that you claim to be seriously in love with that blind woman, what happens to the land in question? What happens to it? Simple. Forget about that land. Yeah. You're being like shows. Completely forget about that land. Is that what you are saying? You heard me very well, Father. Completely forget about that land. It appears there is nothing more to say. I'll leave you to me. Yeah. I see. I told you, didn't I? I told you to happen this way. But you don't listen to me. I know what to do. I am going to ask you this question but once. Uh, take her to the center deity. Wifi, that is going to the stream. Can you think of a better option? Eh? I said take her there so that your problem will be solved. Eh? I said this because no one dares lie before the annuity. Cool. The very day you drugged me, did we have sex? Answer me, yes, I swear by this date, no. I will... No, 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 no. No to what? We did not have sex. 
only overdose the the food with the drugs, so we passed out. I see. Okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Where you go from here is none of my business as long as it's not my house. You will find your belongings close to the road path waiting for you. If you dare come close to my house, I swear by a new multi, I will kill you and face the consequences. Oh, oh Biara! Oh, Biara, sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Oh. No majesty. No majesty. Ah, what's the problem? This is going to end. This whole thing will end today. This ridiculous story between my son and that blind girl is going to end today. Oh, but, yes. But where are you going? I have had enough of this madness. I have been pushed to the wall and I'm using my staff of authority to order that girl to stay far away from my son and never to come close to him for the rest of her miserable life. That is what I'm going to do. Your Majesty, this is too extreme. Hey, the staff of office of the king represents so many things in this kingdom. It is the authority the authority that tempts evil in the land. My king, why would you bring it up because of a woman? My mind is made up hey. and there is no going back. If you are still with me, come with me. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your, Your, Your... You are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. This madness must stop today. In fact, it stops now. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Are you asking me questions? Oh. Is that the king? Yes. Oh, greetings, my king. Oh, save your greetings, you wicked soul. Father. And by the staff of the kings, I command you to what you do. What are you doing? What have you done? What have you done? Ah! Are you alright? Are you alright? Ah! What have you done? nothing to do with us. Keep talking. That, that man of Amogwe who prepared the concoction with which I prepared, I made be, told me that she will go blind permanently, but the blindness will lead to her destiny. Now I'm beginning to understand what he meant. Hi! Your Majesty, please forgive me. This land. Forgive me. My prince, 
Where are you? Please forgive me. So you have been away from me all these years. How come I didn't see this coming? So you are evil. I'm telling you, you are evil. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Use the star for me so I can see. I can't be blind like this. Hey! You, you, you don't need to beg for it. You certainly need your sight to face the horror that is ahead of you. Your Majesty, have you used it? Use it. Use it so I can see. Let me see. I want to see my sight. Please. Your Majesty, you can't leave me here. Now. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody, somebody. My prince. My prince. Gods of my ancestors, will you ever forgive me? How come I never saw this coming? How could I be so close to such an evil man and I didn't notice? Your Majesty, we cannot continue to let this happen. This union between the prince and the blind girl must be brought to an end. Yes, the very end. What do you suggest that I do? At this rate, I am totally out of options. Your Majesty, you are the king. Just banish her. Send her away. Banish an innocent, poor, blind girl from this kingdom? On what grounds? <sighs> you can say she tried to seduce the prince. Yes. And what would you have me say when the prince denies? Prince denies it. Well, that's a small thing. You tell them the prince is under the influence of a very potent love charm. That is why he's playing that way. And when that is proven otherwise? Your Majesty, you realize that if the prince marries a gentleman, that will be the end of your quest. I mean, your agenda for that land. Comes on in. I know that. In fact, nobody knows that more than I do. Which is why I am asking you if you still have other viable suggestions to make. Your Majesty, I have suggested that we banish her and you refused. Okay. Now, why don't we just find a way to kill her? Yes! Kill her and put an end to all this madness. Yes. Change the do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? Kill her! Your Majesty, I'm only trying to help you. I'm just saying. I'm only trying to help. I mean, it's not as if this thing is, uh, is, more, is, is so important to me. I'm only trying to help you because of what you stand to gain there. After all, it's just my little commission that. Uh, but I want to help you. He was even physically prepared to murder that poor girl. Why didn't I see this coming? Oh my God. My king, you sent for me. Egodi, I'm sorry to say this. I made a grave mistake. My things are packed. Excuse me? Your Majesty, from the look on your face, I already know what you're going to tell me. And in truth, I agree with you. I also made a grave mistake. So while you were out, I packed. I was only waiting to bid you goodbye. Be good your day. Majesty, you may have offered me the idea of marrying the Prince. But you never forced me. I brought this upon myself. So like every other responsible individual out there, I've decided to take responsibility for my actions. I, I 
want to ask you for a favor. Please tell the prince I am really sorry and I wish him all the best with Ijemma. A good day. Thank you. I also wish you the best in life. Thank you, Majesty. Can I help you? What are you doing? Um, Marcy. Marcy, forgive me. I haven't been so kind to you, yet all you have done is love me. All these years you have loved me sincerely. So I'm here now. I know it will be crazy if I tell you right away that I love you. So I will just ask you to be my friend. My confidant. My companion. My friend. My helper. Okay. Um, if you reject me, I will continue to ask you because I have come to realize that you belong to me. I don't know what to say right now. Then you probably do not need to say anything. Let us build together. Let, let us start from the scratch. What about Mata? History. What? She lied about the whole thing. I never slept with her. She was trying to force me into marriage. But everything is in the open now. We're not getting married. Are you serious with me right now? Ma, we stay in the same kingdom. You can find out the truth yourself. Um, can I help you? Can I walk you home? I have had all the atrocities you committed against the innocent here. You are not just up against the central deity of women. You are up against the staff of the kings. And there is nothing I can do about it. Please help me. Huh? Help me, you are my, you are my last hope. Please. Oh, baby. If I were to be your last hope, you would have been dead by now. But I was never. Your sole aim was to make her blind, kill her parents, and take over the land. Is it not? Obefi. Obefi. Please. You do not understand. I thought her blindness would make her forget everything about herself. But she ended up becoming the queen of this land. Hey! Now you know where your forgiveness will come from. From the one you offended. It has nothing to do with me. 
to be. You are close to the king. The staff of the king restored that sight. Please help me. Kindly beg the king because he respects you a lot. He respects you. You are very close to him. Beg him to lift up the staff for me, please. I need my I can't be blind. Eh? I need my sight again. I need my sight. Please. Help him to lift the staff for me. Let me see again. Please. I need my sight. Well, he did already. And the real owners of the staff failed to give you back your sight. You made her blind for good eight years. You just got blind barely an hour ago. And you are here crying. The gods are not as weak as you evil men always assume. Yeah. You know you are my friend. You brought him here. Take him away. Come on. You. Take him away. You must swim in the ocean of blindness for the next eight years. Obanya. Obunkita. And more here. Then here. You will continue to experience a life of bliss. Yes, and your days on it will be very long. Yes, yes, Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you for allowing me my the love of my life. I never saw this coming, but it still remains the climax of my joy. Thank you. You're welcome. Meeting you was a blessing. Loving me is a food to my soul. Accepting to be my wife is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. I'll love you forever. <laughs> I love you, my queen. I love you too, my lord. And I will love you forever. <laughs> Son, is that? I have decided to make her a co signatory to the family account. What? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, my king. You don't have to be surprised. You're not part of the family. You should enjoy all the rights and privileges of the real home. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Very nice. Father, as the custodian of the Asian staff of Umuite Kingdom, please can you give your word? Just say kiss the bride. <laughs> Why not? You may kiss your bride. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 